I'm Doug Brown. Stunning news for the Celtics just before the start of training camp. ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski reports head coach Ime Udoka may be suspended by the team for the entire season after having a consensual relationship with a female team staff member. It's expected that assistant Joe Mazzula would become interim coach. Nets guard Ben Simmons says on the Old Man in the Three podcast he liked his time with the 76ers but didn't feel totally supported as he struggled with his mental health. Being in Brooklyn now, it's it's completely different. Like, this is a different experience for me. And, and you know, I value just that time I did spend in Philly because, you know, I was able to learn and grow in that city. And I got friends for life there. I got my brother lives there. Like, I got family there. Simmons says he's looking forward to the new season. He should be ready for the start of camp. A 21-year-old female student at the University of Utah was arrested after allegedly threatening to detonate a nuclear reactor on campus if the Utes football team had lost to San Diego State last weekend. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all of your car care needs. We're close, convenient, and known for our guaranteed everyday low prices and excellent customer service from professional parts people you can trust. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts today. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Matt Moscona. I'm very important. After further review. Say one more time. After further review with Matt Moscona. And here we go. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. <laughs> Live from, from the Mercedes Benz of Baton Rouge Studios. Let's ride. Let's And off we go. Welcome aboard. Glad you're with us. AFR presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana. Matt. Love you, Matt. Paul O'Neill. They're chanting Paul O'Neill's name. Muso. And Mr. Toby Tom Plate. All right, we're here. Glad you are as well. Get out there and make it a good one. Uh, Ryan Clark in 15 minutes. Skip Bertman in studio for all of our number two. We're looking forward to having Skip in studio, of course. Uh, he's got his new book, Everything Matters in Baseball. So we'll talk about the book, but we're going to talk about a lot more than just the book. We'll talk about Skip's tenure, not only as coach, but as athletic director, hiring coaches, LSU in the NIL era, all kind of stuff. Skip's just an awesome resource, and um, we're thrilled to be able to have Skip in studio for the entire 4 o'clock hour. Again, make sure you pick up uh, the new book, Skip Bertman, uh, Everything Matters in Baseball with uh, Glenn Gilbo and Leo Honeycutt. Uh, Mike Triplett, hour number three, and our Fantasy Blitz is going to be an hour three today as well. Pretty good, I hope, a good Thursday night football game with um, with Cleveland and um uh, and Pittsburgh, a lot on the line. A lot on the line for those two teams tonight. We'll see how it goes. All right. Um, <laughs> this morning, I took my son to the doctor, and I got a text from um, uh, from a, a from a, a national uh, media member um, saying, "Hey, you got any insight on what this NCAA infractions call is about?" I said, "Any insight will come on now." So I was at I was at the doctor with with my son, and then of course I saw. Um, uh, Pat Forty's tweet. <laughs> Pat Forty's such a dope. Like, it's such a shame because I um, he he's a fantastic writer, and uh, and has done so much in this profession for so long and done so well. Um, his inability to purge any sense of of bias with respect to um. <laughs> with respect to the LSU is just crazy. So this morning at 8.20 a.m. Central Time, Pat Forty tweeted, LSU infraction ruling at noon per NCAA release. Hunker down. <laughs> Hunker down. Only to, um, within the hour, have to uh, go quote tweet himself and say, of note here, this is not 
the LSU case that went to the IARP involved men's basketball football allegations. This is a separate LSU case, not the mushroom cloud case that has been covered intensively. And yes, you can see I've actually muted Pat Forty because I just can't stand his tweets anymore. Um, I wonder if Pat Forty had to go take a cold shower whenever he realized this wasn't about Wade. <laughs> tell me you didn't have the same reaction. Like, dude, tell, like you saw the tweet, Muse. Tell me you didn't have the same reaction. I, I saw the tweet, and I did. I mean, Hunt even came and talked to me. He's like, do we think that Pat Forty like, was, was taking a shot here, or was he just legitimately... Oh, of course! He's taking a shot. He's so stupid. I mean, people ask all the time, you know, what what is it? Why does Pat Forty hate LSU? I don't know that Pat Forty hates LSU. It's just with respect to this particular case. Pat has has been so deeply invested and taken so many darts from LSU people for so many years that every time he has a chance to lash out, he is going to do it. It's very childish, but it's where he is. Um So, no, this was not the Will Wade IARP case. This was about James Craig, basically. And um, here's what the NCAA ruled. Uh, LSU's program is on one year of probation, uh, and they gave a three-year show cause to James Craig, which means he can't coach in college for three years. James Craig currently is an assistant offensive line coach with the 49ers, so he's in the NFL where he will remain, uh, presumably, uh, unless and until he's able to uh, to get back into college football. Th- th- listen, I'll way oversimplify this. The big offensive lineman, Tristan Lee, who LSU was recruiting the five-star pick Clemson, during COVID, his family, his mom came on this show. Um, oh, I forgot her name. Do you remember her name? Um, see if you can find it, please. She she came on the show. Lovely lady. They, they organized a, a, a trip to have, I don't know, a dozen or so recruits come down on their own dime. And apparently on that trip, Craig and some assistant recruiting staff met with the players, met with the family, showed them neighborhoods, gave them gear, all that stuff. Craig admitted it under oath. So LSU fired him for cause. Craig took LSU to court. He won a $500,000 ruling, basically his, you know, the pay he's owed. LSU says they're going to appeal. I don't blame him. This whole thing is stupid. But the thing that matters that any of you care about at all or should care about at all is all LSU got is a year probation. Basically, it's all right. Now. Don't do anything wrong, because if you do, it's going to be worse because you're on probation right now. So whatever. It's like, you know, you get in trouble and your parents say, hey, look, that's that's strike one. All right. You get in trouble again tonight. You can go out and go with your friends, but you get in trouble again. You're grounded. Like, that's all this is. So it's no big deal whatsoever for LSU. Uh, James Craig is gone. The whole staff is gone. It doesn't matter. They got one year probation. Pat Forty just has to sit there in a cold sweat, just waiting for the day, just waiting for the day that he can tweet again. Uh, just really sad, man. He, um, I mean, he, he, he used to be great. He just isn't anymore. All right. It's after further review. Glad to have you board with us. Um, RC in seven minutes from right now, we'll talk plenty of LSU. Uh, we did, uh, get to hear from Jameis Winston about his, um, about his back injury. We're waiting on the injury report. I'm actually refreshing right now to see if the injury report has dropped. It is, it is out. Okay. Thank you. Um, all right, let's. Uh, we'll run through it first. Muse, would you mind playing? Here's. Uh, let's just hear from Jameis himself. Dennis Allen said they they got Jameis on a similar um, path that they did a week ago, where they're just kind of bringing him on on a limited basis, letting him do what he can do. Hope to have him ready for Sunday. Here was here was Jameis himself talking about how his back feels right now. I'm feeling like my main goal is to find a way to get better every day, like whatever it is with my body, whether it's. Um, conceptually, as a, as a leader, like I'm trying to find a way to get better uh, every single day, and, and that doesn't that doesn't stop, uh, no matter the circumstance. I'm not telling you nothing about my back. That's that's what Jameis Winston said, isn't it? Like Jameis Winston basically said, "Y'all keep asking me about my back. I ain't telling you nothing about my back. I get it. I got four fractured vertebrae, whatever he's got back there. Like, but I'm not telling you anything about it. So look, and he said to his credit, listen, um, play, can you play number three. It, He's he's trying. Look, Jameis was objectively very bad on on Sunday, and he's trying not to to. He's trying to downplay his injury. Yeah, I mean, I, I just I just feel like a lot of guys are, are playing with something, right? But my, my focus is on you know making great decisions, on execute, and, and winning football games, uh, and, and that's that's the most important thing. Everybody's playing with something. 
Um, yes. Hey, I'm 40 years old. Uh, went and worked out at Traction yesterday. Shout out, Mac Chewilly. Uh, getting, getting your boy right. And uh, I, j I haven't done some of those exercises in a long time. So right now, I, my, my glutes were firing hamstrings for the first time in a long time. Today, when I try to go up the stairs here at work, boy, it, it was a little tough, man, because a lot of that soreness. I, I, I got something. What I don't have is four fractured vertebrae that Jameis Winston has right now. Um, let's go through the rest of the injury report real quick. So, uh, of course, Jameis on the injury report is limited. The good news um, is that everybody um, who practiced but was limited on Wednesday practiced again on Thursday, still limited. The only addition to the injury report is Alante Taylor, who was a full go on Wednesday and then limited on Thursday with a, a knee injury. So, Paulson Adebo practiced, Alvin Kamara practiced, Ryan Ramchick practiced. That's all good news. I mean, if if you got guys missing days, that's a bummer, and that's something that you'll have to certainly keep an eye on. But as of right now, it looks like everybody is out there practicing that, that you'd expect would. Uh, as for the Carolina Panthers, um, just very quickly, uh, Dante Jackson, Christian McCaffrey, Frankie Louvu, and uh, Stanley Thomas Olivier, uh, or Oliver, I guess, sorry, uh, uh, all on the injury report. McCaffrey had a uh, an ankle and did not practice on Wednesday. He did go on Thursday, as did Dante Jackson, back-to-back -back limited days. So uh, Saints, far more players on the injured list, but we'll see uh, to what degree as we get closer to the weekend. All right, it's after further review. We're brought to you by Hudco Roofing, hudcoroofing.com. Do business with someone you know. Hudco Roofing, hudcoroofing.com. told you yesterday that uh, last week we found out Hudco is the first and only Louisiana-based roofing company that is a certified fortified roofing company. Uh, a fortified roof stands up against storms better, and what a, a fortified roof can do is actually lower your insurance premiums, your homeowner's insurance premiums, as much as 52%. Ask about fortified roofing. Give us a shout at hudcoroofing.com. Hudcoroofing.com. Tell you every day to do business with someone you know. We'll always give you a free estimate. Just go to the website uh, on the homepage of the website. Um, you'll see the contact form right there on the homepage of the website to get your inspection. It'll take you 30 seconds to fill it out. You'll be populated into our system, and someone will get uh, in touch with you to schedule that inspection. Lickety split. Hudco Roofing and HudcoRoofing.com. Do business with someone you know. Hudco Roofing and HudcoRoofing.com. All right, we'll chat with Ryan Clark next on AFR. AFR. <laughs> Has always been into grilling. It took us a while to see it, but the signs were there. What are you doing, Eli? I knew grilling was my thing. I have been talking about it throughout my career. Happy with the results? I am. Got the new grill from barbecueguys.com. It performed great. My advice, as I always told my boys, do more of what you're born to do. Barbecue Guys, for those who were born to grill. You want cheese on your burger, Pops? I'll take a little cheese. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. Crime has serious consequences, but anyone can make a mistake. If you find yourself in trouble with the law, 
know that you have rights and it's okay to demand them. The law offices of O.C. Brown are here to protect you and your rights. Felony or misdemeanor, DUI or drug charge, no matter what crime you're accused of, you still have rights. Let the law offices of O.C. Brown uphold them. Call 225-343-1111, your law firm for a lifetime. This isn't just another day. It's so much more. Kelly's life was put on hold when her auctioner primary care doctor discovered a rare blood disorder. Her doctor connected her to an auctioner care team of cancer, heart, and kidney specialists. With multiple primary care locations around Baton Rouge, same-day appointments, and online scheduling, we're relentless about keeping you healthy. Auctioner Baton Rouge, innovating healthcare for Kelly. I'm Jay Dakota. I grew up learning how to cook at LSU tailgate parties and right in my own backyard. And I created JD's Louisiana products to bring that Louisiana flavor to you at home for your backyard cookout. JD's Louisiana barbecue sauce, Louisiana molasses mustard, spicy and sweet barbecue rub, and more are available at your local supermarkets or by logging on to jdacody.com slash shop. Put in promo code CST for 25% off at checkout. This summer, meet Acura's heroes of performance. Only available at the Acura Summer of Performance. This summer. After further review with Matt Moscona, presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com, ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. It's time to talk Tigers with former LSU safety Ryan Clark. Presented by DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app today. Uh, RC, what's good, man? Well, you know, man, sitting outside of chimes. I love talking it. Talking to you guys, they're going to go in and get me some crab claws. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love it. It's a good. You had original chimes or you chimes east? Which one, which one is the original? Is the original the one by campus? By campus, yep, by campus. Uh, no, I'm at the Times East, I guess. All right, man. That's It's all going to eat the same, man. Man, hey, listen, it's all going to go down the same, bro. It ain't food in Connecticut. <laughs> you got to get your fill when you can, man. Um, man, you have to, bro. Have to. RC, I, I, was, um, I punched in your Twitter handle and Jay Ward. And what comes up is, man, Jay Ward is an absolute monster. Love him in the LSU football secondary. Jay Ward is a star. And then, please be healthy, Jay Ward. My, my heart can't take it. That's, that's when he slipped at the end of the game after the pick. Uh, you've been on Jay Ward uh, from the beginning. Why is he? Why was he on Saturday so effective in that nickel role, of course, earning SEC Defensive Player of the Week? Well, I think the first thing, uh, Matt, is – I'm not one of those people that likes to say I told you so. I'm one of those people that really loves to say I told you so. <laughs> so <laughs> You can let me do it for you. <laughs> so that's, uh, you know, I think I think when you look at his combination of of cover skills and physicality, it just makes sense. When you look at the the Kenny Moores of the world, uh, who I think is, you know, probably the top nickel um, in the league, uh, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, when he was here um, in New Orleans, um, I think you see those guys, and they have a unique blend of physicality and cover skill. And I think Jay Ward has that. Comes into school as a corner, actually plays some corner here at LSU, um, and then even as he's playing corner, you're watching him tackle. Like I remember, he played late in the game against Mississippi State early on in his career, and I was like, God, this kid's hitting, mm -hmm. and he was really slim then. You know, I was like, I could see him being a safety one day. But he already had those corner skills. And I think that those things just mesh very well for that position. 
Um, and we got to see him uh, make plays on the football. Uh, you saw him be, you know, big also in supporting the run and setting the edge. And I think he just has a perfect skill set for the position. And, I, you know, like I told you last week, I thought it was a, a very good. RC, um, I, think, I think your phone might have cut out there just for a second. Um, okay. No, no, you're good. Um, what did LSU defensively do so well against Mississippi State, particularly in the second half, to where you limited them to three points and under 300 yards of total offense? Like, what worked so well? I thought they rushed. I thought they rushed the passer well. Um, first off, and I think outside of that is, you know, we talked about the zone coverage, right? And I remember, you know, we spoke week one, and I talked about being off and off coverage, and you know, allowing some of those easy passes to be completed. And then I told you last week, the way LSU plays now is actually good against the air raid, mm-hmm. right? You know, and, and and I just knew that that gives you an ability to see the quarterback. It's the ability to pass some things off uh, that they run. And they don't necessarily change a lot. And so I thought they that the defense coordinator and I thought the, the players really got a bead on what they were doing. And what you see early is what you get all day. And LSU was able to make the proper adjustments, but also make the plays uh, you needed to make by being able to see the quarterback, being able to break all routes in front of you while protecting the deep part of the field. And I think all of those things, just worked really well and worked in their favor. And then it helps when later on you get some points. Uh, he's on Twitter at RealRClark25. You know that. Give RC a follow. Of course, go watch The Pivot as well. Subscribe up on YouTube and however you get your podcasts. Hey, RC, where, if I ask you week one against Florida State to week three, the most notable spots where you've seen this team improve, what would you say? I would say the, the first thing is uh, it helps that Malik Neighbors is playing really, really well. Um, mm, yeah. that is uh, that is good. Uh, I think you watched the run game progress last week um, and be a lot more effective in uh, this game against Mississippi State than it was against Florida State. And I think you have to give that nod uh, to the offensive line uh, for them being um, better. I also think they that defensively they were more disruptive, right? They, they got their hands on more footballs. I thought the rush off the edge was better. I think Michael Baskerville uh, played played well, and his presence uh, has netted dividends for them defensively. And I think just, too, like the continuity, right, the, the, the chemistry, like playing together, developing some sort of rapport. Uh, this team is gumbo, right? We've taken a lot of things and threw it into a pot, and you want it to work right away. But, you know, sometimes you got to let that season set a little bit, Matt. Like you can't eat. You don't want to just jump on the first bowl, right? You want to, no you want to get the last bowl on Thanksgiving Day. I mean, give, me, so, g- give me like the third batch uh, yes. in, 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 in the same <laughs> route. You know? It's like with crawfish, too. I don't want the first batch. I want the third it, batch of crawfish. Exactly, man. So I just think that they're growing as a team. Um, and I also feel like, too, we got to see a little bit of what I told you about Jaden Daniels, that he's like annoyingly calm. You know, and uh, it's and, so true. and and sometimes it works in his favor. You know, um, the the touchdown on the run up the middle where he's banged in the end zone late. You know, that's a that's a tough football play. Uh, the the late drive in the second quarter, it's like nothing's going right, nothing's going right. He finds a way to make some things happen, and then you see later on in the game the big throw to Malik in the fade, and now he misses throws and he's going to continue missing throws. So for all of you people who want Jaden Daniels to be like this elite, accurate passer all the time, not going to happen this year. Okay. I'm just going to put that out there. It's not going to happen. But what he will do is he'll make plays uh, with his legs, and he'll find ways to be poised enough to where the moment is never too big. Right? He's never going to be in a place where he doesn't feel like he can make a play or where he isn't doing his best to make the right decision or to where he's shaken up so early by what happens early on in the game that he can't, if you give him an opportunity late, he doesn't feel like he can go out there and do the thing that's best to get you to win. I think we got to see a little bit of that. And, you know, your perspective on him is probably going to have to change to understand who he is. Right, and that's like you know, group chats are the best, man. <laughs> I got all these different group chats going from LSU people, and like they're so mad. Oh, he missed this throw. 
like he missed this read, this and this. And I guess because I've watched him play the last three years, I know that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen that happen. But I also know it's like he's unshakable and unflappable. And we got to see that on a big stage against an SEC opponent. RC, one thing though, so I'm, we, we've talked a lot about, about Jaden and you've been right about that stuff. The thing that I, that, is for not the accuracy part, but it's more making the decision to make a throw instead of passing on throws and running. Like that's been one of the questions that I've I've heard a lot from people. How much of that is 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 coachable? Like how much of that can develop this year? I think I think I think it is coachable. Um, I think the the one thing I think the one thing that like is kind of an issue for him is, right, if I'm a, you know what I'm saying, like, if I'm a jump shooter, like, I mean, if I'm, a, if I'm a great dunker, right, I can also, like, I have a decent, but I have a decent jumper, and I'm like, ah, I don't really know about this jump shot, I'm probably going to dribble and try to take it to the rack, because that's mm-hmm. what I'm comfortable doing. Makes sense. I think for him, he's more like, I know I can use my legs and make some things happen, I don't want to force this throw, or it's not coming open for me fast enough. And I think I think you have to teach patience. Um, you have to continue to drill him on the progression, the route progression, right? Like here, we're gonna look at the we're gonna look at the low crosser. If the low crosser is taken away, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna throw it to the option route that plays off of it. And you gotta tell them, okay, go through the progression and you gotta wait for the crosser though. Like you can't come off of it in, 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 in a tick, you know. And so I think those things can be I think those things can be can be helped and can be fixed and can be learned. But I also think it's hard for a person who has been so talented in running the football all of his life, and that's always been his security blanket or his binky or the thing he goes to, mm. it's hard to get him out of it. Like, yeah. think about you, man. Like, if you – like, let's just say, you know, like, obviously we all know how great you are at your job, right? Of course, but there's like, yes, but naturally, then, yes, of course. Naturally, right? Of course, But yes. there's preparation that goes into that, right? Like, you have – like, like you're set to – to do this a certain way. The bump is going to be a certain thing. The advertisements are a certain thing. If all of that went away and you had no direction, like I don't know what your go-to is, but you would revert to what you know. And maybe that's just to sit up there and just give your opinion and be passionate about it. But if it wouldn't be if there was like, hey, man, we have no idea what we're going to talk about right now. You wouldn't say, well, you know what? I'm going to talk about the New England Patriots. Nah, like you're gonna go to LSU, you're gonna go to the Saints, you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's the stuff you know. Like that's your comfort zone. I think running is his comfort zone. I think he feels like I can do that better than I can do anything else. And so I believe that when when the the, the chips are down, like that's what he goes to. Like for me, you know what I mean? Like if a game wasn't going well for me, you know what I say to myself? I am gonna put myself to sleep or somebody else. <laughs> I was just about to ask you what, what's your comfort zone, like, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, that's what I do. You were just gonna go waylay somebody. What about broadcasting? Like, what if like prompter oh. goes down? You have no, you have no screen. You have nothing. It's just all right. You got to go. What do you do? I, I would. I tell stories. Yeah, you're really and good. The reason, at that. And the reason I tell stories is because I know the answer. Hmm? Right? Because those are actual things that have happened. You know. And so if the prompter goes down, you know what I'm saying, I could jump right into it and be like, hey, man, that is, this is crazy. The prompter's down today, and we were supposed to do this. It brings me back to the first time I ever got a chance to host NFL Live. And I remember we practiced before, and when I was practicing before, the prompter was up, and I knew what everything was. And as soon as the show starts, the guy accidentally cuts the prompter off. So now I'm trying to remember what it is. And like, that really threw me. And now I tell him about the rest of the time hosting NFL Live and then how it went. And then I'd bring that to how the pivot had prepared me to ask those questions and do this. And now you got a show. Yeah. I've, I've watched you, you do them. Face First, which Ryan's podcast. I've watched you do Face First where you just talk for like 30 or 40 minutes with nothing in front of you. Like that's, I've told you before, that's, it's a pretty incredible skill set. Like to just go and never stop for 40 minutes is, it's impressive, man. Uh, well, I appreciate that, man. So, you know, we all have our thing. That's Jaden's thing. <laughs> all right, hey, before I let you go, give me one one more take on – all right, so I asked you this question last week. I'm asking it to you again in a different way. When I asked you what, where could LSU reasonably improve, you said, you said protection and secondary because it was communication, consistency, reps. Okay, New Mexico's coming in. 
they're, LSU's a five-score favorite. Where can they improve? What would you like to see from LSU this weekend? No, I'd like to see dominance, actually. i like to see clean play, right? Um, we expect them to have better athletes. So these are the games where you work on it. I'd like to see Jaden being told, hey, don't use your legs as much, mm. right? I'd like to see the defense. Look, we're going to play – we're going to play some press. We're going to do some different things. Uh, we're going to lock up in the slot. We're going to work on some things that help us going forward. Not necessarily see things schematically that gives away something else you might do going down the line, but putting our players in uncomfortable position in the game we can already win. Right? Like, like let's, let's see where we can stretch, where we can in a game atmosphere – do something different than we've done the first three weeks. And I know that, that, that that's hard to say, especially when you're still learning, because we all know what would happen if this game is even close. Yeah. <laughs> right? The, 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 the world would be falling down yeah. in that route. But we got to be patient enough to understand it's about building. So that's, what, that's where I think the, not necessarily the improvement I want to see, but the, the way to approach the game, what it should be. Uh, one more layup for the Tigers before they start uh, jump shooting, as it were, next week when they go to Auburn. Uh, he is Ryan Clark. Follow him on Twitter. Of course, The Pivot. Uh, subscribe up on YouTube, however you get your podcast. The latest episode is with Teddy Swims. Uh, it's right there on The Pivot on YouTube. Go watch it, subscribe, like all their videos and everything. It's, it's just phenomenal, phenomenal content to go to go check out. RC, you know we always appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, brother. Have a good one. All right, our conversations with RC are brought to you by DraftKings. Of course, you got Thursday night football tonight. If you want to bet on Thursday night football or all throughout the football season, make it DraftKings. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and be sure to use the promo code Baton Rouge. Uh, we appreciate DraftKings. Also a sponsor there of The Pivot. We appreciate DraftKings for jumping aboard and sponsoring our RC's visits with us here. Uh, every Thursday on AFR. All right, Skip Bertman's in studio for hour number two, so that's coming up in about 30 minutes. So Skipper will be with us for the full hour. We'll talk about his book. We'll talk about – Skip's always got stories. Quite honestly, you never really know exactly what direction you're going to go, but it's awesome because he's just an incredible wealth of knowledge and insight into so many things. So if you got questions you'd like for me to ask Skip, I mean, feel free to fire away. You can email me, tweet me, jump in the body forward, YouTube chat, text me in the 225 at 396 4400 396 4400 Skip Bertman's coming up uh, next hour. Okay, we're going to go around the SEC. You still have Tigers and the pros. A lot I got to get to. We got ratings in for the first Thursday night football game on, on Amazon Prime. A ton to do, and glad you're here. Stick around. It's AFR. AFR. Brought to you by Darren James and Associates, powered by EXP Realty. Every home listed by every company all in one place, agent225.com. That's agent225.com. It's where you'll find Darren James. And, of course, I tell you about Darren's newest marketing uh, plan, which is the buy one list one free program hire Darren to represent you on the purchase of your new home and he will sell your current home for free no commission so if you're thinking man I'd love to hire a realtor I just don't want to pay a commission here's your chance if you're at a spot where maybe your family's growing and you're going to sell your current home and buy a new home hire Darren on both sides and he will list your home for free no catch no gimmick Call Darren James, 335-7666. Call him right now, 335-7666. That's his cell, 335-7666, or online at agent225.com. Think real estate, think Darren James. Come on over to Corvell Toyota and meet with a sales specialist to build your new Toyota. It's easy and stress-free. Or if you're looking for a pre-owned, we have a wide variety. So come on down to Happy Town. That's Corvell Toyota in Opelousas, Happy Town, USA. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. Gulf Coast Office Products is a nationally recognized Savin office equipment dealer based right here in Louisiana. Over 100 employees strong, Gulf Coast has the boots on the ground to support all vertical markets from education, engineering, legal, and finance with the latest in office technology from desktop to production segment units 
Gulf Coast and Savin have the perfect fit for you. Call 225-756-2644. That's 756-2644 for Gulf Coast office products. Service Mastery Elite create clean, disinfected work environments. As a local business, we take pride in serving the New Orleans and Baton Rouge areas. Our cleaning protocols follow CDC and OSHA standards for healthcare settings, offices, senior living, restaurants, and industrial plants. Contact Service Mastery Elite to get your operation ready for reopening with germ disinfection cleaning. Service Mastery Elite, the trusted choice in professional cleaning since 1996. This is a house call. This is a follow-up appointment. This is a diabetes checkup. This isn't just more convenient care, it's more advanced care. This is innovating health care at Louisiana's number one hospital, Auctioner. Oh, hey, what's up? It's Big V and Bubba, 100.7 The Tiger Morning Show. We'd love for you to join us every weekday, 4 a.m. till 9 a.m. Yeah, everything you want in a show. Country music. We got laughs. We got celebrity in-studio guests. We just need you. Join us every weekday morning, 4 a.m. to 9 a.m., right where it all started. That's right. Louisiana's country station, 100.7 The Tiger. Gulf Coast Bank & Trust is giving our customers the power to bank anywhere, anytime during this challenging event. And we're right there with you. Our mobile banking app is a smart way to manage your money and After further review with Matt Moscona, presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. All right, who put the Funfetti paper in the printer again? Who did this? What well, wasn't me? I, I didn't even. The stuff it's, I printed wasn't Funfetti. Well, that's because I took the Funfetti cardstock paper out of the printer oh. and put the the normal white in there. I thought you liked the Funfetti paper. Well, I think the Funfetti paper is, in essence, fun. Yeah, but, of course. But it's it's fun. Like, we have a print. My office is on the fourth floor. Our engineer, Bo, took my printer away. Mm-hmm. I, say, I say my the printer on the fourth floor. Because I'm the only one up there who used it. So they moved it over to the corporate side. And so I was like, man, I need a printer. So he got me, like, some old Kyocera from, like, 1986. And it doesn't print straight. So, like, now mm-hmm. we're, we're, we basically now displaced the chair complaints with, with, to printers. Okay. Look at Paul. Paul gets it. Look at him laughing. So, anyway, so I have to come down. So, I have to print to the third floor and come downstairs now to get everything I print. I mean, I print tons of stuff every day. I mean, you see, I got my show prep. I mean, I print. I print There's a lot. Tons, I print tons of stuff every day. Um, and so, I have to come. To, now, look. And on one hand, it's it's good because it keeps me active, right? It, it hey, forces it keep, me to get keeps up. Keeps the blood pumping. And, yes, instead of just sitting at my desk, all they force me to get up, come downstairs, go upstairs, all that sort of stuff. So I'm, that's fine. Um, but I, I printed a whole bunch of stuff today, and I get there, and it's all this cardstock funfetti. The hard part is, like, you can't staple it and then turn it over when you need to. And the then pages kind of stick together the, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but then the other problem, too, is, like, you got all the funfetti over the the words and the letters, nice. so you can't read everything all the time. I mean, who bought who bought this? Where like I need to know where this came from. My guess is promotions department for something at, at one point, yeah, right? Maybe. Had to be. I mean, it's just so perplexing. I mean, we've got we're we're at a professional workplace where we. I mean, they order tons of paper, like you're just the traditional reams of white white paper that you put in a in any type of printer, uh, like like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. The stuff that I crumple up. I can't crumple up this. You know what I mean? Are you sure? I mean, it's it's just not going to be as good. It wouldn't be as tight of a ball. I'm sure. Cer- yes, yeah, I'm going to be as tight of a ball. I'm not going to be as accurate with my shot. It's just, it's just worth saying. Um, I don't. Know, we got to get to the bottom of the fun fetty. Maybe we could we could start an, an internal investigation. All right. Uh, it is after further review. Thursday night football is tonight. Pittsburgh at Cleveland. Have you seen the the logo at midfield with Cleveland? The elf. 
Right. I'm sorry, what? You have not seen this? No. What happened? Oh, the Browns. They don't have a, the brown helmet at um at midfield anymore. I can't believe you haven't kinda, seen this. I kind of respect that. That midfield logo sucks. But uh, so the Browns have are, are using this logo. Apparently, it's brownie the what? elf. Look, in the world is that? That's but this is this is I'm not, this isn't made up. That's legitimately their midfield logo. It's brownie the elf. I can't believe you didn't see uh-uh. this. You of all people that with thing logos is creepy. and uniforms. And, yeah. That so, thing is creepy, let me, see if I can get, let me see if we can get a, a, a That's diff- like if the Saints put the king cake baby at midfield. Uh, Yeah, good comp. Yeah, like. Good, good comp. Uh-uh, Look, no, here he is. we can't do that. Here's a vertical. Here's a vertical shot or, or, or directly overhead. There you go. There's the logo. There's Why do they have an elf? I thought they had a dog as their on-field mascot. Uh, Yeah, their, their costume mascot is yeah. a dog. I don't know where. There is a story. I, I saw today on Twitter. There's something like the history of Brownie the elf. I don't know. Exactly what it is, but anyway, yeah, Brownie the Elf is is back. So, um, I actually really oh here it is. Look, it, look here it is. It's it was ESPN.com, uh, written by who wrote this? Jake Trotter, who is Brownie the Elf inside the rise and fall, the rise, fall, and revival of the Cleveland <laughs> Browns' and beloved fall. and bemusing mascot, Brownie the Elf. There he is. Look, he, he and look, took, look, look, and look. He at, took time off to go bake cookies in a tree. No, Muse, let's, look, look, they've got like a costume brownie right there. Look at it. Oh, my God. He looks like a friar. I, that's a little weird. I don't like it. I'm just going to be honest. I think that's creepy. I can respect throwbacks. Brownie the Elf. I can respect using Brownie the Elf. Like the Saints have begun using Sir Saint again. Yes. I can, I can respect it. I don't want Sir Saint at midfield. No. Brownie the Elf at midfield is just a little too aggressive for me. Uh, but we'll all get to see Brownie the Elf tonight if you're watching Thursday Night Football. And Nielsen, which, by the way, on, on Amazon, Nielsen, the numbers are in. Uh, Amazon had promised its, uh, its advertisers 12.5 million viewers. And last week, 13 million watched Thursday Night Football on Amazon. Um, there's a lot of people who continue to resist this or try to, but Amazon owns the rights for Thursday Night Football for the next decade, so... There's no reason to resist. It's just conform. And last Thursday was was great theater with the Chiefs and the Chargers. And you could argue, look, if by the way, a primetime game like Sunday Night Football would average somewhere around 20 million viewers. So this is less, but it's also on a Thursday night, not a Sunday night. It's you know it's not the same as you know, the prime viewing uh, night or window would be Sunday night of a week. But uh, and maybe you could say, listen, but you got a great game, and I mean, Brown Steelers isn't going to be the same draw as Chiefs Chargers was. So I think that's certainly worth watching to see. But I'll, I've made this comp before. You know, when um, when ESPN decided they were going to broadcast all of the regional games for college baseball, remember, a lot of them were just were stream only. And a lot of the country had never had the opportunity to watch college baseball even via stream. But LSU baseball had been televised for, I mean, like Jumbo Sports and CST, and a lot of people had been televising LSU baseball for for more than a decade when that rolled around. So it, while it threw off a lot of LSU fans, it was like, hey, look, you got to realize this is good for the sport because you're you're going to grow audiences. Now, the NFL is great, but my point is we've all conformed now, and nobody thinks twice about pulling up an LSU baseball game on a stream. It's going to be the same with the NFL. All right, we're brought to you by South Point Volkswagen, southpointvw.com. New and certified pre-owned in Baton Rouge and online at southpointvw.com. That's southpointvw.com for South Point Volkswagen. Nine different IIHS top safety picks. The safest, the highest safety designation that you can get for a vehicle. And nine different Volkswagen models have earned that safety designation. Learn more online or go test drive one today. Airline just north of Highland or online at southpointvw.com. South Point Volkswagen, what's your direction? Okay, a little late, but let's go around the SEC. Around the SEC, presented by Gulf Coast Office Products, excellence in imaging solutions, the Auburn Tigers. Former Texas A&M transfer Zach Calzada is expected to undergo surgery on his injured non-throwing shoulder, and he will miss the remainder of the season. Calzada is expected to seek a medical red shirt for this season. Remember, T.J. Finley injured his right shoulder last week against Penn State. He'll miss this week's game against Missouri, which means that Auburn is now down to just two healthy scholarship quarterbacks. The Florida Gators. Linebacker Ventrell Miller is questionable for Saturday's game against Tennessee. Billy Napier said Miller went through some reps on Wednesday in practice. and It'll be a game-time decision. Uh, With Miller sidelined last week, the Florida defense surrendered 402 yards 
of total offense. Starting right tackle, Michael Tarquin also listed out for the second straight week. The Alabama Crimson Tide. Former Alabama defensive lineman Braylon Ingram. He's now in the transfer portal. He left the Crimson Tide over the summer, but now he's seeking a new school. That according to On3. He's a four-star prospect in the 2019 class. Uh, Ingram, one of eight defensive linemen in that number one class back in 2019. Only three remain on the roster. The Kentucky Wildcats. Five of six Kentucky football players cleared by a grand jury last year on burglary charges. They're suing the Lexington police officer who directed the investigation, said the players are saying the officer tried to frame them for the crime they did not commit. Grand jury declined to indict on all charges last September. Players are speaking in unspecified compensatory and punitive damages. The old Miss Rebels. CMU, I told you it was going to happen. I was going to get to it. The Funfetti cardstock doesn't crumple. See? It loses all of the effectiveness. Yeah, put a little muscle in. You just got to put no, some it, elbow grease into it. It loses all of the effectiveness. And the, the sound is yeah, different. It's, that it's, part, it's, that it's part different. Stinks. And then I, re, yeah. I really have to get dig into it to compress it to be able to then throw it. And look, the, the accuracy is just not there. It comes, it's it's just a bad. wounded duck there. I, the That's... Funfetti. It's the Funfetti mm. cardstock. Um, the number one player in Mississippi for basketball in 2023, Josh Hubbard. He's committed to Ole Miss and Kermit Davis. Pick the Rebs over Mississippi State, Houston, USC, Xavier, and Seton Hall. He's the 18th best point guard in the country. Hubbard's now the fourth 2023 commit for next year's Ole Miss class. And there you have that is around the SEC. See, it just sounds so much better. You see what I mean? It's just so much. All right. It's around the SEC presented by Gulf Coast Office Products. Shout out to our guy Trey Beal and our friends at Gulf Coast Office Products. They're online at gcopnet.com, gcopnet.com for Gulf Coast Office Products, the official office equipment provider of the LSU Tigers, the New Orleans Saints, the New Orleans Pelicans, the ULL Raging Cajuns, 20 years as an official office equipment provider, an official partner of LSU Athletics. That's Gulf Coast Office Products. Baton Rouge, New Orleans, North Shore, Lafayette, they got offices near you. It's Gulf Coast Office Products. All right, it is after further review. We're glad you're with us. Um, Skip Berman in studio for the entire 4 o'clock hour, all of hour two. His new book is out. It is Everything Matters in Baseball with Glenn Gilbo and Leo Honeycutt. We'll talk to Skip plenty about the book, about his time, not only as LSU's baseball coach, but also athletic director and all the goings on. You'll have a chance to meet Skip coming up uh, early next week for a book signing. We'll tell you plenty about that. Skip's going to be in with us for the entire 4 o'clock hour. So if you've got questions, you can fire away. Email me, tweet me, jump in the body forward YouTube chat, or text me in the 225 at 396 4400 I'll look forward to having Skip in the studio here shortly. We'll grab our final break of hour number two. One, uh, you still have Tigers and the Pros next. AFR. AFR is brought to you by Pluckers. Nicholson, just south of campus, Blue Bonnet, right in front of the Mall of Louisiana. Dine in, carry out, or delivery via Uber Eats and DoorDash. That's at Pluckers, of course. With the two locations in Baton Rouge and tonight and every Thursday is all you can eat boneless Buffalo bites. So, Thursday night football, we've been talking about it. You got Cleveland, Pittsburgh, and the NFL. You got some college games as well tonight for Thursday night football. If you need a place to watch, you want to eat all you can eat boneless buffalo bites, you get by Pluckers. Go see our guy Stevie Levy, the king of the wing, over at either Pluckers location. Nicholson, just south of campus, where school's back in, so great crowds over at Nicholson. Blue Bonnet, right in front of the mall of Louisiana, convenient for most of Baton Rouge, just near the interstate, right in front of the mall. So get on by tonight. West Virginia, Virginia Tech is the headliner in college football. Been telling you about the NFL game as well. For every single football Saturday or Sunday ticket to watch all the NFL action, Pluckers has got you covered. Two locations, dine-in, carry-out, or delivery at Pluckers. You know, like our wings. We'll give you the bird. Bayou Ford has $15,000 off MSRP on our new 2021 Ford F-150. All new Bayou vehicles come with a 1 million mile powertrain warranty and free delivery. If you need sales or service, the crew at Bayou Ford is going to do right by you. It's no secret. The best oysters in Baton Rouge are at Jolie Pearl Oyster Bar. Enjoy mouth-watering South Louisiana flavor and oysters from all over the country. And don't forget our nightly drink specials. Jolie Pearl Oyster Bar, located in downtown Baton Rouge. Eli's always been into grilling. It took us a while to see it, but the signs were there. What are you doing, Eli? I knew grilling was my thing. I have been talking about it throughout my career. 
Happy with the results? I am. Got the new grill from barbecueguys.com. It performed great. My advice, as I always told my boys, do more of what you're born to do. Barbecue Guys, for those who were born to grill. You want cheese on your burger, Pops? I'll take a little cheese. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. Crime has serious consequences, but anyone can make a mistake. If you find yourself in trouble with the law, know that you have rights and it's okay to demand them. The law offices of O.C. Brown are here to protect you and your rights. Felony or misdemeanor, DUI or drug charge, no matter what crime you're accused of, you still have rights. Let the law offices of O.C. Brown uphold them. Call 225-343-1111. Your law firm for a lifetime. This isn't just another day. It's so much more. Kelly's life was put on hold when her auctioner primary care doctor discovered a rare blood disorder. Her doctor connected her to an auctioner care team of cancer, heart, and kidney specialists. With multiple primary care locations around Baton Rouge, same-day appointments, and online scheduling, we're relentless about keeping you healthy. Auctioner Baton Rouge, innovating healthcare for Kelly. Light beer shouldn't taste like water. Miller Lite has more taste and only nine. Rebel. Rebel. Purchase your tracks today. After further review with Matt Muscona, presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti Aging Clinics of Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. All right, wrapping up hour number one. Oh, we'll get our fantasy blitz in hour three today. So Skip Bertman's coming up. Mike Triplett at 515 Central. Fantasy blitz bottom of hour three, just so you know how things are structured. Right now, though, we'll put a button on hour number one. Muso has Tigers in the pros. <laughs> Tigers in the pros. They still bleed purple and gold. They're just really rich now. Presented by Lee Michaels Fine Jewelry. Lee Michaels Fine Jewelry, where Baton Rouge gets engaged. So last night in Arlington, Josh Smith went one for four <laughs> with two RBI and a run scored. Ooh, 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 Here's how the ooh, one ooh, sounded. Not caught cleanly because of that. Oh, this ball hit well. Down the right side, if that stays fair, it is gone! A home run for Josh Smith. It was a laser beam. It was a shot. I mean, you could hear the Boom. contact there in that clip. Valley Sports Southwest brings you that. That was Josh Smith's second career home run, but the first one that has gone <laughs> over the fence <laughs> in the show. His so first congratulations career was inside the to Josh Smith. Jake Fraley last night uh, in Cincinnati went one for four. Uh, the one was a single. He was stranded on base, did punch out twice, but hitting a nice 255. Austin Nola last night for Kelly the Padres. Ha how's this for making an impact in the game, Matt? He went one for two with an RBI. The final score, one to nothing. How about that? Drove in the only run. You know, game we call winner. that difference maker. Austin Nola. Calakai. President's Cup. You got to have a Calakai guy on your team. You can't win without him. Dang. The Yankees don't have anybody with Catholic high guys. Here's a fact for you. Here's a fact for you. Every LSU baseball team that's won a national championship has had a Catholic high bear on it. That, Got someone that'll confirm that in a minute. That that I can't argue with. I, that is that is true. That is true. Uh, President's Cup action Better on the PGA Tour. Sam Burns is on Team USA, paired with the world number one Scotty Scheffler as a teammate. They're two up right now through 13 over the internationals. Uh, it's already over. That's just not competitive at all. Uh, that's Tigers of the Press. 
Presented by Lee Michaels Fine Jewelry, lmfj.com, lmfj.com for Lee Michaels Fine Jewelry. Two locations in Baton Rouge, corporate in Bocage and in the Mall of Louisiana. Gentlemen, if you're thinking about popping the question, Lee Michaels has helped Baton Rouge get engaged for more than 40 years. You want a beautiful diamond that will sparkle and thrill her and make you a hero? Lee Michaels Fine Jewelry can help. It's affordable with the best selection. And you always get the Lee Michaels experience. LMFJ.com. Look for that little red box. LMFJ.com for Lee Michaels Fine Jewelry. All right, looking forward to this. Skip Bertman's going to be in studio with us here. Well, he's already in studio. He'll be on with us here coming up right after the top of the hour. We'll spend a full hour talking to Skip. We'll let you get your questions in as well. If you want to fire away, you know how to do it. So here comes Sports Center. We'll get you caught up on national headlines when we come back. A full hour with Skip Bertman, and we're excited for it. Stick around. Don't you move. Hour two of AFR is next. AFR. If you want to see 2020 without contacts or glasses, the Williamson Eye Center can help. Call 924 2020. That's 924 2020. Or go to WilliamsonEYE.com. I just celebrated my four year LASIK anniversary with the Williamson Eye Center, and I couldn't be more thrilled. Still, four years now post LASIK, I'm still seeing 2015 better than 2020, which I didn't even know that was possible, but it is. It's like superhuman vision. Call 924-2020. Listen, it's eye care, eye wear, and eye surgery. So if you need to have your annual eye exam for the whole family, the Williamson Eye Center can help with seven locations, including the newest in the River Parishes in Lutcher. Eye wear. If you do wear glasses or contacts, they, they've got optical shops so you can get the latest styles and designs. But remember, if you want to see 2020 without contacts or glasses, no matter your age or your refractive issue, the Williamson Eye Center can help. Call 924-2020. 924-2020 or WilliamsonEYE.com. Bayou Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has $12,000 off MSRP on all new 2022 Ram Black Widow trucks in stock. All new Bayou vehicles come with a 1 million mile powertrain warranty and free delivery. If you need sales or service, the crew at Bayou is going to do right by you. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. I'm Jay Dakota. I grew up learning how to cook at LSU tailgate parties and right in my own backyard. And I created JD's Louisiana products to bring that Louisiana flavor to you at home for your backyard cookout. JD's Louisiana barbecue sauce, Louisiana blast mustard, spicy and sweet barbecue rub, and more are available at your local supermarkets or by logging on to jdecody.com slash shop. Put in promo code CST for 25% off at checkout. This summer, meet Acura's heroes of performance. Available at the Acura Summer of Performance. This summer, visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the MDX. Gulf Coast Office Products is a nationally recognized Savin office equipment dealer based right here in Louisiana. Over 100 employees strong, Gulf Coast has the boots on the ground to support all vertical markets from education, engineering, legal, and finance with the latest in office technology from desktop to production segment units. Gulf Coast and Savin have the perfect fit for you. Call 225-756-2644. That's 756-2644 for Gulf Coast Office Products. Service Mastery Elite create clean, disinfected work environments. As a local business, we take pride in serving the New Orleans and Baton Rouge area. Our cleaning protocols follow CDC and OSHA standards for healthcare settings, offices, senior living, restaurants, and industrial plants. Contact Service Master Elite to get your operation ready for reopening with germ disinfection cleaning. Service Master Elite, the trusted choice in professional cleaning since 1996. There's nothing better than tailgating, but it can be a lot of work. So why do it yourself when you don't have to? Let Revelry Sports and Entertainment set up your luxury tailgate on campus. Order what you want and just show up to party. Book your tailgate today at revelryteam.com. Revelry Sports, the official tailgate partner of LSU Athletics.
This is SportsCenter. I'm Doug Brown. ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski reports Celtics head coach Ime Udoka, who led Boston to the NBA Finals in his first season back in June, could be suspended for the upcoming season after violating organizational guidelines. Udoka had a consensual relationship with a female team staff member. Clippers forward Kawhi Leonard is cleared to be on the floor in training camp when it starts next week, but the team will be cautious. Leonard missed all of last season after a torn right ACL. NFL Week 3 kicks off tonight in Cleveland, an NFC North matchup, the Steelers and Browns, both teams 1-1. One and one. ESPN's Harry Douglas believes Pittsburgh should make a quarterback change. I'm pretty sure that uh, some of the guys in that locker room feel the same way about Kenny Pickett. He, he can be the spark that they need because from Trubisky, I just don't see it. And I don't, I don't think it's going to happen the rest of the year either with, with Trubisky at the quarterback position. Harry Douglas on KJ and Max. ESPN's Adam Schefter reports the Ravens signed pass rusher Jason Pierre-Paul to a one-year deal. Brought to you by Capital One Auto Navigator, where you can find a car, get pre-qualified instantly, and see your real monthly payment without impacting your credit score. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms and conditions apply. Find out more at CapitalOne.com slash Auto Navigator. Matt Moscona. I'm very important. After further review. Say one more time. After further review with Matt Moscona. And here we go. ESPN Baton Rouge. New Orleans, Alexandria, <laughs> live from, from the Mercedes-Benz Mercedes of Baton Rouge Studios. Hour two, off we go. Welcome aboard. Glad you're with us. AFR presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana. I'm Matt. I am sweating. Paul O'Neill. They're chanting Paul O'Neill's name. Muso. And Mr. Toby Tom Plate. All right, we're here. Glad you are as well. Get out there and make it a good one. A Mike Triplett a little more than an hour from right now. We'll talk some Saints as they had to take on the Carolina Panthers this weekend. I've been looking forward to this for uh, quite a while. Uh, in Baton Rouge or around Louisiana, Skip Bertman needs no introduction, and uh, Skip's good enough to spend a full hour with us here. His new book is now available. It is Everything Matters in Baseball, the Skip Bertman story with uh, Glenn Gilbo and Leo Honeycutt. And Skip's got a book signing coming up early next week. We'll tell you plenty about also. It's always great to see you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. My pleasure, Matt. You're it's, the best. Thank it, you. Well, I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's our pleasure to have you. When we get an hour with you, of course, we'll always take it. Um, we got, we're going to cover a lot of ground. I do want to start with the book, though, because I think maybe the most obvious question is is sort of a why. Why, why, why now yeah. would you want to write a second book? That's, a, uh, that's, of course, the question. And the answer is uh, we didn't want one now. We started eight years ago. <laughs> really? Yeah, and try finding an author uh, that was baseball savvy, uh, but it was also some relationship with Skip it was very, very hard. And finally, uh, Glenn Gelbo uh, did a great job. You know, he was there when I started. Mm. He didn't give up his job, and you're a professional sports writer, of course. And he did a great job. Now, he used some of Leo Honeycutt's book from three years ago. And then <laughs> another book that we couldn't get off the ground. You know, So eight years, the mm. book's been coming. The answer is it's not now. It should have been eight <laughs> years ago when I was closer to uh, retirement. But it is here now, and uh, li uh, I will say that uh, Glenn did a great job. I didn't, I didn't uh, write the book. Mm -hmm. You know, Glenn Gelbo wrote the book with Leo uh, Honeycutt, and uh, I don't get any money for this. I just want to pay the sponsors back, <laughs> people that put money up eight years ago <laughs> that have been helping me along the line. Boy, I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to sell some books and get them the money back. Well, every, um, I think every LSU fan. Uh, will it is 
I don't know. I'm sure you've probably thought some about this. And legacy is always a big question. But when you think about the the historical figures, sports figures in our state, I mean, you were on a very you were in very rarefied air. And I, you, I know, I know you, well, I know you understand that. And I'm not here to to you know to to, to prop you up. I mean, your your Thanks. your resume and your legacy is is what it is. But it's one of those things where anything that we have that not only for this generation of fan but future generations of fans to get to know the legacy you've had is is massively important. Was was that part of the decision making? Yes. Um, uh, one of the decision part of the decision was if you're going to put a book out, Skip. If I want to put a book out and people want the book, that put up the money so you could publish. Um, the answer is what. Did he do? You know, what do you want? And I, what I, I think people, they know you won some national championships and we had mm-hmm. great teams. But, you know, they got to go back to 80, 1984, you know, my first year when there, when there were no players. And I said to the team, hey, you know, we're going to go to this place in middle America. It's called Omaha. And they started to laugh and clap and cheer. And I thought, whoa, that's pretty good. And then I heard a kid say, oh, he's on drugs like us. <laughs> <laughs> so oh there was there was nobody there. You know, uh, they didn't know how to play. They didn't charge admission. I took season tickets around. I, I wanted that story to be told because now uh, Paul Maneri, of course, did a great job. Of course. And now Jay Johnson. You know, those coaches are, they don't do anything but coach. I mean, you don't have to fix the field, you know, right. like I did. Here, I'll tell you a good one. One of your sponsors, Lee Michaels, is wonderful. Mm-hmm. There was a time when Lee Michaels actually showed up in a store. I mean, the real Lee Michael. And uh, so I went to him in 1985. And I said, Lee Michael. I didn't even know how to pronounce his name. I said, Lee Michael, you got to help me. He says, what do you need? I said, well, we got to get to keep them in the park. I said, I want you to give me 1,499 zircons and one diamond. And we'll give it each kid, each person who comes in will get one. Then they go to the back by right field. And, of course, there's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and there's a line of people. And every time somebody... <laughs> Turned away, everybody else, yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had all kinds of fun with that. And uh, Lee Michael is a great guy. And uh, uh, so you got fifteen hundred people to come yeah. to the, the yeah. I, I, so, Skip. I feel I feel like I've heard every story. <laughs> I feel no. like just doing this for as long as I had that I've heard every story. If not from you, from Ronnie, who thinks from he's Ronnie who, Rance, who yeah. thinks he's you, but like. <laughs> I can't believe I've never heard that one before. Yeah, I'll tell I you. Can't Ro- I've never heard that one. We had Ronnie on our show. <laughs> yeah, he is so funny. And the talented guy, and of course, a national champion, a wonderful kid who could tell stories with my voice better than me. <laughs> like I'd come in second, you know, in a sound alike contest with uh, Ronnie. But the, but, but the book, thank you. Uh, is is real good. Tell us about coaching. I think coaches are really like the book. I think anybody who's an LSU fan uh, would like the book. Anybody who likes baseball, you know, would like the book. And uh, of course, it's got all of the beginnings and of course all the championships. A little bit of you know deep some of my coaching tips, you know, that I hope are valuable. But. Uh, it's a, a hard thing to sell a book. Now, you know, only 20% of the population, families, really buy books. You know, it's hard. And I want to sell the book, get the money back for these guys eight years ago. So they've been pumping and working, you know, for <laughs> eight years. They've been wonderful. And um, and Eric Lane over at the car shop where he's uh, done so well, you know, he's, he's kept it all together. And I really appreciate uh, those guys. It's at uh, Amazon and Barnes and Noble. I know there's a lot of different places you can get it uh, at Acadian House as well, AcadianHouse.com. You can right. purchase the book. And uh, you're gonna have a book signing coming up next week. Do you know? It, well, it's next week. It's Tuesday night. That's the 27th. Mm-hmm. It's 5:30 to you know almost nine o'clock. Open house. If you have a book and you want me to sign it, come on by, and I'll do that. But if you want to buy a book, 
or two or three, come on, and I'll personalize those for you. Uh, all the baseball coaches will be there that night to help and mingle. Uh, people that you know will be there. I think we'll have uh, beer and wine and hors d'oeuvres will be given by, you know, Lipsy's. Very and cool. uh, Richard's a great guy. And uh, he's helped me since the first day I've come here. And uh, now he's helping me here with this thing. I think we'll like it. The, pr the publisher will be there. And, of course, Glenn Gelbo, you know, will be there as well. Uh, it's Tuesday, 5.30 to 9 p.m. at Lipsy's, which is on Exchequer. Uh, you could you could find it. Certainly, if you just Google the, the address. So 539 books will be available for sale. You can get it personalized by Skip. Holidays will be here before you know. It'll be a great present for any yeah. Tiger fan. You mentioned the baseball coaches are going to be there. Um, I, I know you. we've talked about it before, but uh, – Jay Johnson and and his staff, especially you know the the God, he had to turn over his staff after yeah, one he year. Did. Isn't that something? Would have been uh, your impressions not only of Jay but of, well, of I his will. staff. Uh, thanks. Uh, first of all, uh, he's a listener. Uh, he's a skip. Tell me, you know, he's one of those. Uh, he's not uh, worried about. He's not self conscious about anything. He coaches twelve hours. He's a super stud. Uh, today he was at the Kiwanis Club and he mentioned about everything. But what he didn't mention uh, is that there's number one recruiting class in the country. That includes the portal transfers and, of course, the high school kids. And, you know, that's not like winning a national championship. If you win a national championship, the coach deserves one or two or three percent of the credit. You know, it's all the players. But when you get to be first in that recruiting thing, that's all coaches. I mean, that's 100% coaches. And uh, LSU has a good brand. And uh, Jay's noticed that, of course. And it's so good that the pitching coach from last year, in one year he got the job at Washington. Yeah. You know, and then the third base coach, recruiting court, in one year he got the job at Kansas. And we have a good brand. So, like Jay said today, if you call, if they don't call and say, can I come? That was the question today mm. <laughs> at the Kiwanis Club. Will they call? You know, no, no, they don't do that. But if you call them, they're interested. Mm -hmm. And that's a big thing from the time when I started. And honest to God, uh, nobody knew where LSU was. I mean, the championship of 1959 was forgotten. Yeah. And. Nobody really knew, and I called one guy. Uh, you know, I knew where the kids were, and I long-distance kid. And I said, hey, this is Skip Bertman at LSU. And the kid put the phone down and said, Dad, it's for you. It's the Longshoremen's Union. <laughs> <laughs> That's honest to God. You can't make that up. I mean, uh, honest you, to God. You could make it up, but I believe you that that's a real story. <laughs> no, that's real. And uh, I felt so alone uh, because uh, nobody really cared much for baseball. And then we had 20,000, and then we had 40 and 60 and 90, and now we're up at 250,000, lead the country for, I don't know, decades. And I'm very proud of all the coaches that have upped their game in college baseball. There are no college teams in the Southeastern Conference, which which arguably is the best conference in baseball uh, because of the weather, you know, and other advantages. Uh, every team in the league, how many have we got? 14 14. Now. Yeah. All, well, 13 of them have, a, have brand new stadiums or they have a, <coughs> a second or third stadium. You know what I mean? Mm. Everybody's up there. Um, coaches make, uh, you know, large amounts of money, and that's information is, you know, it's public information. So, you, you know, we know what the coaches make, it's, and, and they, but they earn it. Uh, today's coaches are tough. So Jay works 12 hours a day, and it's fun goes. But uh, best recruiting class belongs to Jay and his staff. Mm-hmm that have gotten some kids. I've watched them. I've been there three times. And uh, we have to remember that Jay has <laughs> went to the big leagues. <laughs> mm. The Minnesota Twins are two and a half games over Cleveland Guardians, right? And he says to the coach, come on down next year. And, of course, the coach had 
uh, a different contract schedule. It wasn't a problem, and they loved him, mm-hmm. you know, at, at the Minnesota. But he has a young uh, kid, and he didn't want to take the road trips anymore. So he came down, and LSU, of course, matched or even better to salary. Now we have the best pitching coach in the United States by far. And, of course, Josh Jordan came from Duke. Duke won a couple of ACCs. And you think basketball and Coach K, but this guy actually won baseball at Duke and a wonderful kid. And uh, we got uh, a batting coach, Mark Wanaka, who's a good friend of Jay's. He's called the volunteer coach. God, I don't know when they're going to change that. Mm. And uh, the, so the four guys are really good. Uh, they'll start fall ball probably, uh, you know, in October sometime. Right now they're working, you know, X number of kids at a time, you know, hours per week for the mm-hmm. kid. So they have to work like eight hours a day, nine hours and more to get all the kids in for their uh, practice allotment. And uh, nobody's afraid to work. Boy, they work hard. Like football coaches, they work hard. There's um, there's a lot of anticipation about this baseball season, given the talent they have. We'll talk plenty about it. Skip Berman's in studio with us for the full hour. We'll get to a lot of your questions as well, so feel free to fire away. You know how to get your questions in. We'll continue with Skip next on AFR. AFR. We're brought to you by Insurance Network of Louisiana. Better coverage for less money. Give our friends at Insurance Network of Louisiana a shout. This is so easy. They go shop independently for free to find you better coverage for less money. Literally, the only thing that you have to lose, the only thing you have to lose, is however long it takes you to be on the phone with them to tell them about the current coverage you have. Just a little bit of time. Because the literally, the worst thing that could happen is they call you back and say, hey, we shopped, and what you have right now is great, and it's a fair price, stick with that. That's the worst thing that could happen. Or maybe, when they go shop dozens of the top-rated companies in the world, They'll come back to you and say, hey, we found you better coverage, and we're going to save you money. For me, they quadrupled my coverage and saved me $1,600 annually on my insurance. What could they do for you? You won't know until you call. 293-0450, 293-0450, no matter where you are in the state of Louisiana. 293-0450 or lainsurance.net. Gulf Coast Bank and Trust is giving our customers the power to bank anywhere, anytime during this challenging event. And we're right there with you. Our mobile banking app is a smart way to manage your money and time. Gulf Coast Bank and Trust, the bank that cares about you. Bayou Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has $12,000 off MSRP on all new 2022 Ram Black Widow trucks in stock. All new Bayou vehicles come with a 1 million mile powertrain warranty and free delivery. If you need sales or service, the crew at Bayou is going to do right by you. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, Our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals. But many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. This is a house call. This is a follow-up appointment. This is a diabetes checkup. This isn't just more convenient care, it's more advanced care. This is Innovating Healthcare at Louisiana's number one hospital, Auctioner. Oh, hey, what's up? It's Big V and Bubba, 100.7 The Tiger Morning Show. We'd love for you to join us every weekday, 4 a.m. till 9 a.m. Yeah, everything you want in a show. Country music. We got laughs. We got celebrity in-studio guests. We just need you. Join us every weekday morning, 4 a.m. to 9 a.m., right where it all started. That's right. Louisiana's country station, 100.7, The Tiger. It's no secret. The best oysters in Baton Rouge are at Jolie Pearl Oyster Bar. Enjoy mouth-watering South Louisiana flavor and oysters from all over the country. Don't forget our nightly drink specials. Jolie Pearl Oyster Bar. 
located in downtown Baton Rouge. Eli has always been into grilling. It took us a while to see it, but the signs were there. What are you doing, Eli? I knew grilling was my thing. I have been talking about it throughout my career. Happy with the results? I am. Got the new grill from barbecueguys.com. It performed great. My advice, as I always told my boys, do more of what you're born to do. Barbecue Guys. After further review with Matt Moscona, presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com, ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. Skip Berman's in studio with us for the full hour. The book is Everything Matters in Baseball. It's Glenn Gilbo, Leo, Honeycutt. Um, have penned it. Skip's good enough to hang out with us for the full hour. You can pick up the books uh, wherever you get books online. Of course, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and at uh, AcadianHouse.com as well. Skip's got a book signing coming up on Tuesday. We'll share all that info. Uh, we've got a, t a text message into the show from uh, Greg Lehman who said, ask Skip, favorite Johnson, Jay or Tookie? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice going, babe. Nice going. Uh, uh, listen, uh, Tookie Johnson was recruited. Uh, he's a good, uh, good question from Elmer. New Jersey. And, um, you know, if somebody told me about him, you, know, you don't you don't get to see him, you know. <laughs> and, of course, he came for the tuition scholarship, which you only have 11.7, so you got to kind of work it out. Of course, that's still true today. Uh, I took he came down. I met his parents, and uh, I, the night I ate with him over at Mike Anderson's restaurant, and I'll never forget, uh, his dad said, you know, th this kid could play as a freshman. His dad said, <laughs> right. And I said, you know, dad, I says, you know, they're really only 50% as good as the dad says they are. Uh, so maybe a sophomore. And he said, no, he's a good one. And he did. He played as a freshman. Uh, he, the system, he just absorbed the system. He is today, Matt, uh, took, he's the best coach in high school. I think he's over at Dunham mm -hmm. now. He's the best coach that I've ever put out. I mean, he's he's awesome. He's won wherever he's been in high school. He retired once, and they brought him back. Yeah, Tookie's real good, but uh, but uh, Tookie's it moves. You know, the the record's the record. You know, it's in the books. Matt Moscone and everybody else has the records. Yeah, I'm going. The, the what's now is Jay Johnson. That's what counts. And uh, as I said, I like Jay. And uh, that's good mm. that he likes me because I feel comfortable when I go there. No, I don't tell them how to coach. They don't have to do that. Mm. They're great coaches. What I do could do is uh, remind them about uh, things that I've done through the years, uh, like clean restrooms and keep the coffee hot. <laughs> you know, to, uh, let's get the fans in there. Yeah. So on the bottom of the ninth, uh, when you're playing USC, you know, there'll be 65, 7,000 in the 5,200 seat stadium. And uh, you'll be able to have an advantage. And so that's what we're doing. And Jay's picking up on that. Uh, he was very shocked. He told the group today, his fall baseball last year, he had his first game. He had 1,500 people watching. For, for, for fall ball. Yeah, for fall <laughs> ball. And he was kind of shocked. Uh, crowd is important. You got to have a lot of people in order to help you create an atmosphere that Mike Shashevsky, sure, you know, had at Duke. You know, it's good to have that atmosphere. And uh, while fans, I won't, you know, as an AD, I always said this: I won't give you credit for winning the game, even if you tailgated for eight or nine, ten hours, mm. but you helped us and created an atmosphere. That helped the coach, my time, Nick Saban or Les Miles, helped them win the game. So we were able to, you no, know, uh, Nick, of course, is the greatest, and naturally, uh, the, even in the book, I begged him not to go. Uh, you know, I begged the boss of, uh, you know, the <coughs> Miami football team at that time, 
Uh, don't take him. That was Heisinga. Yeah, Heisinga. Please, Mr. Heisinga. And, of course, there's a, <laughs> there wasn't much of a wavelength between <laughs> Mr. Heisinga and me. You know, like he just, who are you? <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, so that didn't work. But I said, uh, good old Leah, uh, the guy, who, who quit Notre Dame when they were good after a national championship? He left. Who's that coach? Dan Devine? No, not Dan Devine. Oh, Lou, Lou Holtz. Yeah. Lou Holtz. Uh, what's, what about the Florida coach, Spurrier? Yeah. Of course, the guy, Petrino, mm-hmm. left in the middle of the night. And it, it, it's not that they can't coach. It's that coaching people who are 30 years old or 27 that make $12 million, okay, is different than coaching college kids. When you're a college kid, you can raise your voice. You can be demanding, not demeaning, but you can slip a little and say to them, what's, what's up with that? You have something wrong with your arm? What's wrong? You know, you could do or you can give a little bit of that. But in Pro Bowl, you just can't do that. Nick, of course, is a, he was a lock not to be <laughs> successful. He's so good. So he comes to college and meet him the next year. He says Alabama. He's such a good recruiter. Uh, he's so good once they're there and a practice coach, game coach. He's real good. And, of course, uh, evidently he's the best coach in college he's ever had, I yeah. guess. He's, um, I, you know, Skip. I was, I was a student at LSU. I say this sometimes when, when Nick coached LSU. So, I love him. I know a lot of people yeah, here hate. Right. I mean, I hate that he's at Alabama, right. but I'm just insanely grateful yeah. that what LSU is now is. I mean, he people always say he he awoke in the sleeping giant, which is true. So <laughs> I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm grateful for that. How long do you think he'll coach? Uh, gee, that's a good question. He's not going to be an announcer. See, right. he, he couldn't do that because of who he is. He could be he can do anything, mm-hmm. but I don't think he wants to be an announcer. Uh, I think you're right. Uh, and uh, let me add that uh, he's a nice guy, and his wife Terry Super. Uh, they're good people. They really are. Yeah, he was focused and tense, mm-hmm. and uh, you know he wasn't much of a joke teller. You know what I mean? He, yeah. you know, he was into I think it. We all know. You know, we're, we're in a pro, we're here. I'll tell you what. We're in a uh, North Louisiana in Monroe. It's one of those speech things where the Tiger Athletic Foundation mm-hmm. brings the football coach, the athletic director, and anyone else he can get, but especially the football coach. So Nick has to go. You know what? It's in his contract. But to his credit, he was out at seven in the morning on the air. LSU plane recruiting, and he flew the that plane to a Mon, uh, Monroe at 6.30, straightened out his hair, walked up, and get, delivered a wonderful speech, and everybody walked by the tables and said hello. Uh, he, he's a wonderful guy. I don't know. He's a, he's such a hard worker. It's hard to say. What, what could he do? They never played tennis, golf. Never yeah. did any of that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. What have been your uh, your impressions of Brian Kelly? My impression, Brian Kelly, thank you. Uh, uh, folks, I think, well, remember, we have a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, and, of course, we got a contract uh, that puts him into the next century. Yeah, so he's, <laughs> we, we were joking. Some people ask after they lost to Florida State, is Brian Kelly losing another one? Is he on the hot seat? I said, <laughs> no. He's got a 10-year deal with 90% of it guaranteed. He's going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that, that's correct uh, on that one. No, I don't think he's not worried about that. But yet, he's very, very nervous about the next game. You know what I mean? He wants to win badly, but you don't see that. He handles it like a super pro that he is. Explains things. Uh, the, well, he said quarterback runs too much. and Does he run too much? He doesn't just shh. Shoo away the question. And he answers, well, if you run too much, yeah, there are some times he could have passed, but he ran. But we want him to run sometimes, too. <laughs> so we got a balance, and he did it beautifully. He does things like that that show that he's a, you know, experienced winning coach. Do you think it's, um, of course, you hired Les Miles, who won a national championship and played for another national played? championship and had a – a, a decade plus run where he won eighty percent of his games. Do you think that? I hate to say 
that LSU is fail proof because there there was an era, <laughs> a long era, where LSU didn't win. Yeah, that's correct. Six straight losing seasons in football, but it feels like the Good program is so established right now with so many resources that it kind of feels fail proof. Boy, that's good, Matt. That's good. Um, it fe- see, we have such a brand, but it's not just baseball. I mean, it's all sports. Yeah. I mean, everybody wants to work at LSU in the athletic department. You know, they have five assistants for this guy. Sports. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Everybody wants to be here. Uh, we have everything that Alabama has, uh, you know, so for football people, we have everything that they have. Uh, but we're not fail-proof, but we're certainly better off than most of the 14 schools uh, in the conference. Now, of course, Georgia picked up the right guy mm-hmm. when they when they raided Saban and cr- crippled his staff. He's not only are we getting a good coach, we're hurting Saban's staff. <laughs> Gee, I got a, got a kick out of that, you know. So Saban beat his uh, was 22 and zero before he finally lost to Georgia, and. Uh, is, uh, I, I, I don't know. It's a great thing. I mean, we should win, yeah. We have high expectations in all 21 sports. They're supposed to win. Scott Woodward wants them to win all national championships. And I think that's true at other schools. But we do have we're, – we're about as fail-proof as you can be. Okay. But you can't be fail-proof. Skip Bertman's with us. We're halfway home in this hour. We've got a couple of more segments. Oh, our, our final segment with Skip, we'll get to all of your questions. I do want to ask you about facilities if we can when we come back. Um, and remember, the book is available, Everything Matters in Baseball, the Skip Bertman story. You can get it at AcadianHouse.com. And there's a book signing coming up on Tuesday at Lipsy's from 5.30 to 9 p.m. Books will be available for sale there, and Skip can personalize them for you as well. So make plans to be there on Tuesday. We'll continue with Skip Bertman next. AFR. AFR is brought to you by Rouse's, the official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints. One of the great things about Rouse's, as a matter of fact, man, I was so thrilled today. Um, I'll just uh, uh, sort of freelance a little bit here. Um, Rouse's had a groundbreaking today at their newest location, which is coming in North Baton Rouge on Florida and Ardenwood, and was so pleased to be able to be there. Donnie Rouse was there. Uh, got to, I got to meet so many of the, the great folks with Rouse's who put shovels in the ground. They're going to be uh, helping restore and beautify an area of town right there with uh, adding a beautiful state-of-the-art new shopping center that's coming. So I'm just thrilled. Thrilled to be partnered with Rouse's. They've been excellent to us, and uh, we've enjoyed it so much. Of course, they're the host of Eagle 98.1 Game Day, where uh, Hanegriff and Musso host uh, every LSU game day on the Rouse's on Burbank and Lee. So get on by and see the guys there. And, of course, they've got curbside delivery and uh, pickup options for you at Rouse's, the official supermarket of the New Orleans Saints, Rouse's.com. Kids have staked out their place at Auctioner Medical Complex, The Grove, where more than 30 pediatricians and pediatric specialists are all conveniently located under one roof, so you can spend less time driving and more time keeping your kids well. Yes! It's no wonder kids call dibs at The Grove. Auctioner Health Center for Children. Bayou Ford has $15,000 off MSRP on our new 2021 Ford F-150. All new Bayou vehicles come with a 1 million mile powertrain warranty and free delivery. If you need sales or service, the crew at Bayou Ford is going to do right by you. Want more customers? Running Board's marketing can help you get their attention. Imagine your brand's message on a giant LED billboard truck that can't be skipped and is nearly impossible to ignore. Running Boards Marketing is the leader in effective and affordable advertising on digital mobile billboards, which are two times more effective than traditional billboards. With a 97% recall rate, you'll leave a lasting impression with your customers. Visit us online at runningboardsmarketing.com so we can drive your message to where the people are. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, Our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly 
is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. Crime has serious consequences, but anyone can make a mistake. If you find yourself in trouble with the law, know that you have rights and it's okay to demand them. The law offices of O.C. Brown are here to protect you and your rights. Felony or misdemeanor, DUI or drug charge, no matter what crime you're accused of, you still have rights. Let the law offices of O.C. Brown uphold them. Call 225-343-1111, your law firm for a lifetime. I'm Jay Dakota. I grew up learning how to cook at LSU tailgate parties and right in my own backyard. And I created JD's Louisiana products to bring that Louisiana flavor to you at home for your backyard cookout. JD's Louisiana barbecue sauce, Louisiana molasses mustard, spicy and sweet barbecue rub, and more are available at your local supermarkets or by logging on to jdakotecom slash shop. Put in promo code CST for 25% off at checkout. Le posso offrire un caffè? Le posso offrire un caffè? Andiamo insieme da me, non c'è. Oh, oh, oh. After further review with Matt Muscona. Presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. I want to make sure that we uh, leave some time for your questions for Skip, so we'll get to them. Um, of course, the book, uh, Everything Matters in Baseball, the Skip Burtman story is available. However you get books, of course, at acadianhouse.com. That's the publisher. Um, and we got Skip in studio with us for the whole hour, which is just a, a treat. Uh, and we do appreciate the time. Um, I want to talk, talk to you about facilities. We we talked earlier in the show, and you you had mentioned how like all of the SEC baseball stadiums are all basically brand new, so much so that the box, which opened in 09, right now you look and you go, so many. It's still a new venue, but there's so many that have come behind it. That's correct. Are there ways to modify, upgrade, improve? The box, like what? What would be realistic uh, for the box? Um, uh, we could improve uh, by getting bullpens in the outfield. I think that's a good thing. Jay was mentioning today he wants a. <laughs> he was in Arizona, you know, mm-hmm. and of course it never rains. And then he comes to Baton Rouge. <laughs> you know, it's like a, <laughs> when does it stop, Coach? When does it stop? And um, so we built a lot of stuff that was under the grandstand. But uh, actually, we're, they're looking to build another building where he can take an infield, like a lot of schools. Most schools have that. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. And uh, So what do they do now? Pardon? What do they do now? All right, now they, good question, now they hey, go into their, it's not like they're hurting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now they go into their uh, batting cage area, which has a good mound. That's a pitching laboratory. And then it has two giant cages all right, so uh, the machines are behind the giant cages, you know, and these machines throw, you know, it used to be you had a <laughs> machine, you know, one of those. <laughs> Run the arm, yeah. Yeah, the iron arm. <laughs> and now, you know, you put the ball, it does whatever you want. And so there are right-handed curveballs, left-handed curveballs, and that. <laughs> so they're, they're able to hit. It's not like they, they have a weight room in there also. Mm. Okay. On the other hand, they can't hit grounders. Which I think, and Jay's right, that's an urgent kind of thing. Now, it's not like you play a game in this thing, but you need an infield where you could just punch out some grounders. Mm -hmm. Then he'd have it all. Uh, There's no school that I, been to Mississippi, Arkansas is the greatest. Wow, I I, I went there, uh, and they showed me around, and boy, I remember opening the stadium for Arkansas in 1997. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had a beautiful stadium, but you had two boxes. You know, now all the boxes around. They did, they did everything right in Arkansas. And then they showed me other facilities. They have a lot of room. We're kind of landlocked. Mm-hmm. See where the box is. Uh, you know, it's not, you know, not like we can move onto the street here. You know, it's a, right. a high, you know, a Louisiana highway. 
uh, we we have to find ways and be very uh, uh, thoughtful about it with a lot of mind work and a lot of thinking and a lot of uh, come up with an idea. If it's not good, it's throw it out. But mm-hmm. let's get some more ideas. You can't just say we're good now because years ago you got to compare with the other facilities. So I guess that uh, is again, it's true in every sport, I'm sure, you know, not just baseball. So yeah, there are things we could do with the box. Um, what about in football? You were you were the AD when the, the East Upper was constructed. The new, uh, correct? When the the East Upper? No, that was two thousand. There was two thousand. Opened in two thousand. But you were there with when the yes. new West yeah. Upper was built in oh, that was, yeah, to that was General Richard and the mm-hmm. uh, God God bless him, and the uh, <laughs> that was a lot of help, a lot of trouble. Well, I remember it yeah. extended into the 05 season yeah. with the storms. Like, and, right, right there were, on, on on game night they were putting carpet down and, <laughs> and they. <laughs> They never quite <laughs> finished, and the windows weren't right. But they, as right. it went on, right. they got yeah. they got it better. And uh, that was Tiger Athletic Foundation. They did a great job. And, of course, those things are sold out. Mm-hmm. See, the one thing that we have that's the greatest for uh, Brian Broussard, our ticket manager, and all the people, is we have uh, about 69,000 football season tickets. Well, you can't. 15,000 more go to the students Mm -hmm. and, of course, the band, okay? Uh, And then you have to have the other team, Mm 6,000, you know, it's the Southeastern Conference. Right. So it's not like you got a lot of tickets to to sell after you sold them. I think they're – and then there's the secondary market, which is big now. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was there, it wasn't so big. But now, you know, you can – internet and get whatever you need or get a ticket or pay this amount. Uh, I think we have, I think Scott Woodward's the best athletic director we've ever had. Remember, he uh, was at Washington. Then he was at Texas A&M. So he's the most experienced mm. athletic director we've ever had. And uh, he knows what we need. And uh, But the brand, like the brand took away his number, assistant athletic director, to Nevada, Reno. Sure, Stephanie Rep. Yeah, Stephanie. Mm-hmm. Was, Stephanie was really good. Yeah, and yeah. not that she shouldn't be a head coach, but now he, of course, he replaced, and we have somebody else. But Stephanie was terrific. In other words, people come here, like they did to Alabama for Nick Saban's staff. Sure. See, they come here. Just go to LSU and get somebody. See, and I think that's a credit to all the people at LSU and what they're doing. Um. We're going to get to your questions for Skip. Again, the book, uh, Everything Matters in Baseball, the Skip Bertman story. You can get it wherever you get uh, you get your books. Um, and, and, of course, the signing is coming up at Lipsy's on Tuesday, 5.30 to 9 p.m. We'll continue reminding you about that. It's a great uh, holiday uh, gift item. You can get it personalized by Skip as well. So um, we're going to grab a break and come back and get to, to listener questions. Is there... Is there anything else that they could do to Tiger State? I mean, particularly the thing people always ask about is traffic. Is there anything they could do to that's fix that's a, to fix this? Uh, yeah, so I can answer that. Uh, first of all, the Southern game, I'm very proud of uh, the Southern LSU game. I mean, there was no surprise to me on the field. Sure. And there was no surprise. Uh, i tell you, a Southern band working with LSU – Boy, that's a fist bump uh, for the AD at Southern and for the bandmaster. Uh, instead of doing their own show, because they have a different kind of band, mm. and uh, I think for and we have a great band. I mean, one of the best in the country. So I think working with them, even for an hour and a half, that's all they had to work. Mm. They put together a great thing. All right, the traffic was miserable, so you can't go so There were two hundred thousand people involved, and you can't. Uh, but let's take. New Mexico, mm-hmm. all right, and the present, uh, you know, where they won't even have their 6,000 tickets. They won't be sell 6,000, so we'll right. be able to sell some more tickets locally. And uh, that's good for people. Uh, the answer to your question, no. There's no way you can do this. I had engineers. They're still hiring the same engineers now. <laughs> what's, what's with that? You know, I said, at least get somebody new. Have you changed your mind? Yeah, that's right. You, they, they're, they're, these are na- 
you you know, there's only two lanes out of that place. You just can't do it. They're trying hard. The police try hard. It's just a hard thing to do. If the game is close and everybody leaves at the end, it's pretty tough. Uh, we got one more segment with Skip. We'll knock out our final break. We get some of your questions. You can email us. You can tweet us. You can jump in the Body Ford YouTube chat, or you can text us in the 225 at 396 4400, 396 4400. Uh, Skip's book is available wherever you get books. It's uh, Everything Matters in Baseball, the Skip Burtman story. We'll have one more segment with Skip when we come back. It's AFR. AFR. Always love telling you about River City's One Hour Air, where they're always on time or you don't pay a dime. You know how to find them, 752-0001, or onehourbr.com. Remember, they'll always come out nights, holidays, and weekends and never charge you extra to come out nights, holidays, weekends. That's just their commitment. Look, your AC doesn't know if it's a holiday or a weekend. If your AC goes out, you need to get it fixed. River City's One Hour Air will be there. Love sharing these five-star Google reviews. This one came from Will Mack, who said, My tech, Cody, who came out, was very professional and friendly. Took the time to explain exactly what he was looking for and what he was doing. I appreciate him taking the time to explain our situation and how to fix the issue. Thanks again. Just one of thousands of five-star Google reviews from River City's One Hour Air. When you've been in business for 40 years, you tend to have a lot of five-star Google reviews. That's River City's One Hour Air. Look for the big yellow vans and trucks with the giant clock on the side. 752-0001. I am Juliette, daughter of Marguerite, granddaughter of Gabrielle Piera. I come from a line of strong women, women who knew struggle and success too. Still, I was scared by my breast cancer diagnosis, but I had Blue Cross coverage, which meant I got care from top doctors. I'm strong like my mother and her mother before her the right card, the right care. There it is, the extra mile on the border of expected and extraordinary for those willing to go further, like vans customized for work or play, with safety and tech to keep you connected, supported by a five-star sales service and finance team, and backed by the one star you know. So go the extra mile. It's never crowded, because so few have what it takes to go there. Mercedes-Benz Vans. Service Mastery Elite create clean, disinfected work environments. As a local business, we take pride in serving the New Orleans and Baton Rouge area. Our cleaning protocols follow CDC and OSHA standards for healthcare settings, offices, senior living, restaurants, and industrial plants. Contact Service Mastery Elite to get your operation ready for reopening with germ disinfection cleaning. Service Mastery Elite, the trusted choice in professional cleaning since 1996. This isn't just another day. It's so much more. Kelly's life was put on hold when her auctioner primary care doctor discovered a rare blood disorder. Her doctor connected her to an auctioner care team of cancer, heart, and kidney specialists. With multiple primary care locations around Baton Rouge, same-day appointments, and online scheduling, we're relentless about keeping you healthy. Auctioner Baton Rouge, innovating healthcare for Kelly. Gulf Coast Office Products is a nationally recognized Savin office equipment dealer based right here in Louisiana. Over 100 employees strong, Gulf Coast has the boots on the ground to support all vertical markets from education, engineering, legal, and finance. With the latest in office technology, from desktop to production segment units, Gulf Coast and Savin have the perfect fit for you. Call 225-756-2644. That's 756-2644 for Gulf Coast Office Products. This summer, meet Acura's heroes of performance. Only available at the Acura Summer of Performance. This summer, visit your local Acura dealer for attractive offers on the M. After further review with Matt Muscona. 
Presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans. Alexandria. All right, a final segment uh, with Skip Bertman here in studio, kind enough to give us an hour of his time. Um, and certainly, I would encourage anybody to pick up the book, Everything Matters in Baseball, The Skip Bertman Story by Glenn Gilbo with Leo Honeycutt. Also, there is a book signing coming up Tuesday, 5.30 to 9 p.m. at Lipsy's in Baton Rouge, which is on Exchequer. Skip told us he'll have hors d'oeuvres and maybe some beers. Yeah, beer, about, wine. How about that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a party, man. Now you're yeah. talking my language. Uh, but go go uh, snag a book if you can for the uh, the Tiger fan in your life or on your list. Um, there's a lot of questions coming in about you know what championship game maybe were you nervous? Mm-hmm. Uh, Warren Morris stories, lots of stuff like that. Um, but we'll get to that. But I do want to ask you as we were starting talking the break about what Aaron Judge is doing right now. Right. Um, I, I I tried to put context to make people care about how remarkable it is that he's done something that no one since Babe Ruth has done. Uh, so you're. I, well, you're well, a baseball guy, so yes. Uh, yeah, uh, of course. You you're said you're a Yankee fan. That's wonderful. <laughs> and uh, they're about you know they're about six and a half ahead, and they'll probably make it, but they'll and then they got to fight Houston. So, mm-hmm. but uh, Aaron Judge, uh, they uh, Booney bats them. The manager bats them first. So at least there's one time that they're going to pitch to him because mm-hmm. you don't want to walk them. And Giancarlo comes up. They don't want to walk, Judge. He can he can even steal, mm. you know, if, if you wanted to. But um, the it's so remarkable the year that he's having that he's number one in every single offensive category. The best batting average, of course, home runs, RBIs, of course, runs, walks. Uh, except for being hit by pitch or strikeouts, um, you know, he's in number one. I mean, it's unreal. He's got more doubles. It's not just Babe Ruth. I don't think anybody's ever had the offensive year all around. So if he wins a triple crown and he's, of course, the MVP, I think you'll hear that. That's Mm -hmm. probably the best offensive year by any person ever you know in 150 years of baseball it's it, that is such a mouthful to say it is and i think the challenge that that some baseball fans have is obviously because you went through the steroid era and we all yeah. know that home right. run numbers don't mean now what they did but but baseball aggressively tests <laughs> and there's never been mo- you were explaining all the dynamics involved in, with with pitching and pitching coaches and it's specialized it's never been harder to hit Never and this guy is harder. literally having the greatest offensive season ever. Right. Don't don't you know, fans, don't don't disregard that. Uh the mound's the same, you know, sixty foot, six inches. But the and the changes that are being made won't affect the fact that these pitchers you know, throw a hundred miles an hour when nobody did that. Yeah. You know, when I was coaching, that was like rarefied uh, that one guy could do it. But now, you know, dozens do that. And they can make the ball move, and they can do things that other pitchers have never done because of the uh, electronics that that helped them out, mm-hmm. and the coaching, and and watching themselves. Uh, so if you hold your glove like this for a fastball, and you move it down like this for a slider, they got you. Mm. You see what I mean? That's tipped, how, well. Yeah. That's how it is for the hitters. They got that advantage, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough to hit. You got two fifths of a second to make up your mind. So naturally there's lots of strikeouts because they're going for the home run because they're not going to get five hits in the inning because the pitching's too good. So uh remember now they don't want to pitch, you know, to to our Yankee hero, because I'd like the Yankees. They don't right. want to pitch to him. Look at me. Old Moose over here is a Red Sox <laughs> fan, Skip. Uh, Oh my God! I'm so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, he's just been a Red Sox fan since '04. All right. Yeah, it's, there's it's, lots it's, of them. It's, it's, it says baseball. <laughs> you know, they used to be good. You know that kind of thing. You know, and uh, but but the but this this Aaron Judge thing is something. Yeah. I can't imagine now on the yes, of course, on the Yankee mm-hmm. channel, he's on. But like he'll be on tonight. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine 
him not being on television every at-bat with yeah. 60 homers to see if he can get to Roger Maris 61st. Yeah. They, or even 62. Which, and and, and uh, you said he passed over real quickly, and, yeah, I think I disregarded it. I, I appreciate uh, Barry Bonds and Sammy Sosa. I do. Mark McGuire. I appreciate them. But uh, they're not in the Hall of Fame. You know, there they're, they're some reason, okay, and I'm respecting that. And I think Aaron Judge is doing something that uh, uh, it's clean, mm, Yeah, I think is the way to put it. Skip Bertman, uh, it's it's a pleasure. Anytime we My get pleasure. this much time with you is always a joy. We're so grateful that you gave us the time. Be sure you pick up the book, Everything Matters in Baseball, the Skip Bertman story, however you get books, and the signing is coming up Tuesday at Lipsy's in Baton Rouge. Skip, it's our pleasure. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Hour number three is next. AFR. As we put a button here on hour number two, remind you about Relief Windows and ReliefWindows.com. 288 8138 or ReliefWindows.com. Windows, doors, siding. Relief Windows, ReliefWindows.com. That's energy efficient replacement windows. That's beautiful entry doors. That's hardy plank and vinyl siding. You can go to the website and you can learn more about all of the products that they offer. The thing about siding as well that we, we really try to stress, remember, you can change the exterior look of your home in less than two weeks from the time you call. With beautiful hardy plank or vinyl siding, it comes finished in whatever color you want. It won't chip or crack or peel. Great options. They're weather resistant. They're fire resistant as well. Learn more at reliefwindows.com. Experience, quality, service. It's Relief Windows and reliefwindows.com. Remember, you can all financing is available. You can always get by and see their beautiful state-of-the-art showroom on Airline Highway in Prairieville. Reliefwindows.com. Bayou Ford has $15,000 off MSRP on a new 2021 Ford F-150. All new Bayou vehicles come with a 1 million mile powertrain warranty and free delivery. If you need sales or service, the crew at Bayou Ford is going to do right by you. Gulf Coast Bank and Trust is giving our customers the power to bank anywhere, anytime during this challenging event. And we're right there with you. Our mobile banking app is a smart way to manage your money and time. Gulf Coast Bank and Trust, the bank that cares about you. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. This is a house call. This is a follow-up appointment. This is a diabetes checkup. This isn't just more convenient care, it's more advanced care. This is innovating healthcare at Louisiana's number one hospital, Auctioner. Oh, hey, what's up? It's Big V and Bubba, 100.7 The Tiger Morning Show. We'd love for you to join us every weekday, 4 a.m. till 9 a.m. Yeah, everything you want in a show, country music. We got lads. <laughs> We got celebrity in studio guests. We just need you. Join us every weekday morning, 4 a.m. to 9 a.m., right where it all started. That's right. Louisiana's country station, 100.7, the Tiger. It's no secret, the best oysters in Baton Rouge are at Jolie Pearl Oyster Bar. Enjoy mouth-watering South Louisiana flavor and oysters from all over the country. Don't forget our nightly drink specials. Jolie Pearl Oyster Bar, located in downtown Baton Rouge. Eli's always been into grilling. It took us a while to see it, but the signs were there. What are you doing, Eli? I knew grilling was my thing. I have been talking about it throughout my career. Happy with the results? I am. Got the new grill from barbecueguys.com. It performed great. My advice, as I always told my boys, do more of what you're born to do. 
barbecue guys. For those who were born to grill. You want cheese on your burger, Pops? I'll take a little cheese. This is SportsCenter. I'm Doug Brown. ESPN's Adrian Warzanowski reports Celtics coach Ime Udoka will likely be suspended for the upcoming season after a consensual relationship with a female team staffer. Woj says assistant coach Joe Mazzula will likely become Boston's interim coach. Without Udoka in that coach's room, with Will Hardy gone to Utah, mm. it's a lot of brain power out of that room in Boston. It's right now that coaching staff is thin just because of the attrition. So a lot of challenges for Joe Missoula. Adrian Warzanowski. Woj also reports the Pistons are finalizing a trade that would bring forward Boyan Bogdanovich to Detroit. In return, the Jazz would get Kelly Olynyk and Saban Lee. The Yankees open a four-game series against the Red Sox tonight in New York. ESPN Radio will have live coverage of Aaron Judge's at-bats. He's sitting on 60 home runs, one behind Roger Maris's American League record. First day of the President's Cup in North Carolina. Team USA leads the Internationals 3-1. to one. The last match of the day tied and now on the 18th hole. ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career you'll love with flexibility, great pay, and benefits? And one of the country's top workplaces? Come join their growing team. Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. Matt Moscona. I'm very important. After further review. Say one more time. After further review with Matt Moscona. And here we go. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. <laughs> Live from, from the Mercedes Benz of Baton Rouge Studios. Let's Hour three, off we go. Welcome aboard. Glad you're with us. AFR, presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana. I'm Matt. This is Shaq O'Neal, and I hate Matt. Paul O'Neal. They're chanting Paul O'Neal's name. Muso. And Mr. Toby Tomplay. All right, we're here. Glad you are as well. Five o'clock, it is quitting time, and glad you are driving home with us. Thanks again to Skip Bertman for spending uh, an entire hour with us uh, here uh, on, uh, on AFR. He's got his new book out, and, you know, I was talking to Skip a few weeks back, and he was, you know, asking if we could help. I said, absolutely. I mean, it's, you're going to get an hour with Skip Bertman in studio. I'll, I'll, I'll always take it. Uh, I don't care what time of year it is or what's going on. Um, you know, it's just... He's the guy's just done it. He's done everything. I mean, he's, uh, I mean, I, I don't like, you know, Mount Rushmore radio conversations. Um, but when you, when you talk about the most significant people in the history of sports in this state, uh, he is on that short list with two, three, four, whatever you, I mean, he made people care about college baseball, built an enormous brand around it. He was the athletic director here. It's just, it's incredible. I mean, it, it's, it, it's just truly, truly incredible. So uh, we appreciate Skip. Uh, pick up the book if you can. Um, Mike Triplett's coming up in 10 minutes. Looking forward to having Mike with us. We'll talk Saints-Panthers. The injury report is out. No notable changes from a day ago. Everyone who was limited yesterday was also limited today but practiced. Uh, Alante Taylor was added to the injury report. So that is of, of note. Um but but limited, so you suspect everyone would be good to go. We'll get into all that with Mike coming up here um, in about 10 minutes from right now. You know, it was interesting, earlier today, uh, from time to time, ESPN will put out their draft prospect rankings where they'll, you know, Kuyper and McShay and um, uh, Matt Miller and Jordan Reed, all they've expanded their draft analyst uh, list their roster, and so they all put out their their top five at every position. I always like to look at that just to kind of see what what the draft analysts think about um, you know, about the LSU guys. And it was interesting. 
uh, because they also have a, a consensus top 10 overall. And they've got Kayshawn number six. So they, they average out all four guys there where they have the prospects ranked on their big boards. And so Will Anderson is number one, Jalen Carter from Georgia, number two, CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, B. John Robinson from Texas is five. And then Kayshawn is, is six. They've got him averages, averaged out as the sixth best player uh, in the entire draft class. And the reason I guess that stood out to me most was because um, I we've had this conversation. Sometimes it's you always say it's tough to see the forest through the trees. And when you look at the slow start that Kayshawn has had to the season, that's notable. But this tells you like the talent is also undeniable. The talent is there. The projectability, you know, his ability is going to make him a, a high draft pick, very likely a top 10 draft pick, quite possibly the first receiver off the board, even if the production isn't there this year like it has been in the past, because I think scouts will look and say, well, look at the offense he's playing in. You know, look at, at how that offense is functioning. It's not that Kayshawn isn't getting open. or I mean, I know we've talked about it enough, talked about it with Ryan Clark in hour number one, where you're you're talking about you know a, a quarterback in Jaden Daniels who's, whose default, his reset is, man, I got dynamic running ability. Let me make the play instead of let me force a ball. So there may just be fewer opportunities to put up stats. And that just may be how it, it goes this year. The other thing that stood out was, aside from Kayshawn, the only other players listed in the top 10 at their position group were Ali Gay, B.J. Ojolari, and one of the um, the scouts, uh, Matt Miller, has Jaqueline and Roy, the fourth best defensive tackle in the draft. When you're coming off a year where even when LSU was six and six and then lost the ball, so six and seven, you still had 10 players drafted a year ago. And I think this is the probably the greatest illustration of what's happening with LSU right now because I was looking at those top 10 lists. And, and by the way, Kuiper has, you ready for this? Mel Kuyper has Eric Gilbert rated as the number one. Well, got, they've got fullbacks and H-backs listed as a separate category. He's got Eric Gilbert listed as the number one fullback or H-back in this draft. Three of the four have Eli Ricks among the top five cornerbacks in this draft. And so it's interesting because that probably is the biggest illustration of of what's happening with LSU. If you look back at the 2020 class where Ricks and Gilbert were both in LSU's 2020 class, which ranked fourth in the country. Again, so and the reason this is relevant is those guys would be juniors now. And so I looked back, I went back and looked today and I was like, you know, Gilbert and Ricks were in that same class. You know, Kayshawn was in that class, BG Ojolari, all the, the guys that are, are juniors right now. And and look at look at the the 2020 class. So this should be the core of your team, your juniors. Gilbert was the highest rated player in the class. He's at Georgia. Ricks was the second highest rated player in the class. He's at Alabama. Kayshawn was the third highest rated pl a player. He's obviously at LSU. Jaqueline Roy is obviously still at LSU. The fifth highest rated player in the class was Philip Webb. He's gone. Next is Jordan Tolles. He's gone. B.J. Ojolari, obviously, still here. Jacoby and Guillory, still here. Antoine Sampa, gone. Marcus Dumerville, that's your top 10 of the class, also gone. Or Dumerville's here, but hasn't played a ton. After Dumerville, Trey Bradford, gone. Josh White, gone. Max Johnson, gone. Eric Taylor, gone. Dwight McLaughlin, gone. Coy Moore, gone. Marlon Martinez is still hanging around. Alex Adams is gone. Cole Taylor, Ollie Gay, Xavier Hill, and then TJ Finley gone. Like, you want to know why LSU's roster looks like it is right now? All those guys are gone. I mean, if you had junior Eric Gilbert, junior Eli Ricks, junior Max Johnson, you know, if you run through that that list and you're talking about all these guys, if Trey Bradford was was still here, and Antoine Sampa, and Philip Webb, and Josh White, and all, Dwight McLaughlin, like. Your roster looks fundamentally different than it does right now. I mean, that's that's the issue that that you have is you you didn't build, maintain, and sustain your roster, and and you had to. And so Brian Kelly had to go supplement in the portal this year, as we all know, 
And he's going to build it back. He's putting together an amazing signing class right now, an amazing recruiting class that hope I'll sign, and and will get LSU back to that level. But right now, it's hey, you you got to go with with the bubblegum duct tape route you have this year to try to win as many games as you can, which they're doing. Coach them up, and while you build the roster back to a championship level, and look, a big part of that. Um, with recruiting is is paying off as as we see. Um, saw on Twitter today. There's a five star quarterback for 2024 named Julian Sayan. I'm not going to sit here and even try to pretend to know um, uh, about Julian Sayan. But what I do know is in the 247 composite, uh, he's the number five overall player in the country. He's a five star quarterback. And he's coming to Baton Rouge this weekend when LSU takes on New Mexico. And this will be his third trip to Baton Rouge. Now, Georgia, uh, per on three, Georgia has the uh, the best odds of landing him at 62%, which isn't overwhelming. But, you know, when you're talking about being in the mix for five-star quarterbacks and building back up, I mean, that's that's what it's it's going to take. So, uh, for what it's worth, on, Chad Williams from on three did put in a, a prediction for for Julian saying to, to pick LSU to sign with LSU, but he'll be on campus uh, this weekend. A guy out of Carlsbad, California, five star. Shea Dixon noted that on Twitter as well. So, um, on three has him as the number two quarterback for twenty twenty four, and he'll be in Baton Rouge this weekend to watch LSU against against New Mexico. So, Brian Kelly continuing to build. It's just going to take patience. All right, we're brought to you by GMFS Mortgage, GMFSMortgage dot com. Changing lives since nineteen ninety nine. Home buy, refi, construction loans, they do it all over at GMFS Mortgage. Change your life today, financially, with a local loan officer at GMFS Mortgage. No matter where you are in the state of Louisiana, there is a local loan officer from GMFS with an office near you. GMFSMortgage.com. That's GMFSMortgage.com. Our state's number one local lender, the 11th largest lender in the country. It's incredible. Hundreds of thousands of loans closed billions of dollars in loans closed. That's GMFS Mortgage. GMFSMortgage.com. GMFS Mortgage. Changing lives. All right, let's talk some who dads. Uh, Mike Triplett will join us next. We'll preview Saints Panthers. Fantasy Blitz at the bottom of the hour. Don't you move. It's AFR. AFR. Follow us on Twitter at 1045BSPN to cast your vote in the Citizens Bank and Trust poll of the day. Vote daily inside off the bench. Hanny time. Hunt and Hill. And after further review, Citizens Bank and Trust brings you the poll of the day via Twitter at 1045BSPN over to Corvell Toyota in Opelousas and meet with one of our sales specialists to build your new Toyota. It's easy and stress-free. Or if you're looking for a pre-owned, we have a wide variety. So come on down to Happy Town. That's Corvell Toyota in Opelousas, Happy Town, USA. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. Crime has serious consequences, but anyone can make a mistake. If you find yourself in trouble with the law, know that you have rights and it's okay to demand them. The law offices of O.C. Brown are here to protect you and your rights. Felony or misdemeanor, DUI or drug charge, no matter what crime you're accused of, you still have rights. Let the law offices of O.C. Brown uphold them. Call 225-343-1111, your law firm for a lifetime. I'm Jay Dakota. I grew up learning how to cook at LSU tailgate parties and right in my own backyard. And I created JD's Louisiana products to bring that Louisiana flavor to you at home for your backyard cookout. JD's Louisiana barbecue sauce, Louisiana molasses mustard, spicy and sweet barbecue rub, and more are available at your local supermarkets or by logging on to jdecody.com slash shop. Put in promo code CST for 25% off at checkout. This isn't just another day. It's so much more. Kelly's life was put on hold when her auctioner primary care doctor discovered a rare blood disorder 
Her doctor connected her to an auctioner care team of cancer, heart, and kidney specialists. With multiple primary care locations around Baton Rouge, same-day appointments, and online scheduling, we're relentless about keeping you healthy. Auctioner Baton Rouge, innovating healthcare for Kelly. This summer, meet Acura's heroes of performance. summer of performance this summer visit your local accurate dealer for attractive offers on the mdx Gulf Coast Office Products is a nationally recognized Savin office equipment dealer based right here in Louisiana. Over 100 employees strong, Gulf Coast has the boots on the ground to support all vertical markets from education, engineering, legal, and finance with the latest in office technology. From desktop to production segment units, Gulf Coast and Savin have the perfect fit for you. Call 225-756-2644. That's 756-2644 for Gulf Coast Office Products. Service Mastery Elite create clean, disinfected work environments. As a local business, we take pride in serving the New Orleans and Baton Rouge area. Our cleaning protocols follow CDC and OSHA standards for healthcare settings, offices, senior living, restaurants, and industrial plants. Contact Service Mastery Elite to get your operation ready for reopening with germ disinfection clean. Service Mastery Elite, the trust. After further review with Matt Moscona, presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com, ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. Mike! Yeah? Saints coverage with some Mad Libs mixed in. Why don't you just... Uh... Go by Mike. It's time to talk black and gold with Mike Triplett of New Orleans Dot Football. Uh, <laughs> oh, Muse, you gotta have a longer tail. Oh, you gotta have a longer tail. <laughs> right, we're, we're, we're working on that part. We're working on that part. It took about two and a half years, but we got one. We got an intro for Mike Triplett of New Orleans Dot Football. How are you, Mike? I, I for, at first I thought you were talking to me when you yelled Mike. I was like, oh my gosh, am I supposed to go now? <laughs> I didn't yell Mike. That was the open. <laughs> that was a drop. He had. we finally got. I a, know. We finally got an open produced. You see, you go to New Orleans dot football and you get an open. That's just what it took. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Actually, I that's, feel not what, that's not what it took at all. It did. It, it was just just some organization and you know putting it all together. But well done, Muse. Very well done. Um. Thanks for the time, as always. Uh, let me just start kind of with the obvious one, and that's, I think, what everyone's asking, which is about, about Jameis, health, ability, availability, all that stuff. Uh, what can you tell us right now? Well, it sure looks like he's going to play and he's going to start this week and, and that they're treating the injury portion of that question the same as last week. Um, you know, I, they they didn't give any indication that they were even regularly checking on him, monitoring him ever concerned that the health uh, might take him out of the game. Uh, so I, I really don't think that's a factor as of now. They certainly have said a couple of times they don't think there's a risk of re-injury. I mean, maybe there's a risk of, of more pain and soreness and and that if he never gives it time to fully rest, that he'll never get fully healthy. But as of now, it's all systems go uh, with him and and. Neither he nor Dennis Allen gave any real indication that, that any of his missed throws were a result of him physically not being able to throw the ball like he used to. But obviously they want to work on uh, you know, the missed deep balls and then and then what Jameis himself described as, as pressing a little too much when, when the interceptions started to add up in that fourth quarter. What do you think, Mike? I mean, you've watched him play. Uh, you've watched him practice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's impossible to say because he obviously had velocity and power on those throws. Um, the ones that he was throwing 60 yards down the field, the 
touchdown pass to Michael Thomas was a fantastic throw, right? Uh, just a bullet right into the bread basket. So um, I can't say for sure. Does the back affect the subtle accuracy at the end of those deep throws? You know, when they were tailing outside while Chris Olave was running inside, is that a throw he makes if he's a hundred percent healthy? I mean, he's still got the knee brace on. He was added with the ankle injury. So he's a banged up quarterback right now, but it's certainly, and, and it, it did affect his running, his decisions to run. And, and, you know, he wasn't running fast and fluid and took a couple of big shots. So I think there's a point where, where maybe they have to evaluate whether the injury is affecting him or not, but they certainly haven't reached that point yet. Um, did anything else? I, I we could, Look, we could go down the, the rabbit hole of Mike Evans and all this, but we know what happened at this point. I'd rather just move on from it. Did anything else from Sunday before we move ahead, did anything else from Sunday really stand out to you? Well, I mean, uh, I thought it was a really good defensive performance, and we were a uh, uh, turn, you know, the, uh, one tiny thing happening in a different direction, and um, that being the story of the week is how Dennis Allen still – owns Tom Brady uh, before that game started to steamroll at the end. So I'm going to write uh, for tonight or tomorrow about how, you know, they're obviously going to need to get some more produ- sack production. Uh, but I think in general, the defense did its job, certainly against the run and, and even affecting Tom Brady. The only time Tom Brady had success was when um, he attacked a third string cornerback after Marshawn Lattimore was knocked out of the game. So yeah. uh, I think you feel better about the defense, but you've got, a ton of questions about this offense. I mean, not knowing how much of Jameis' performance had to do with his health or his decision making, or you know, his it, where his throws a little too off target to Olave down the field. But then just you know, they're not putting points on the board, and and that's two weeks in a row where they took a long time to put points on the board. Now I know they took a more conservative approach and mindset into this game in particular. Um, so I'm not quite that concerned, but but we're on alert now. I mean, if they if they don't put together four or five scoring drives at Carolina, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a work in progress. It's going to be inconsistent, but we need to see more flashes than as we've said a couple of times this week. There's really only been one good quarter out of eight. Mm. How does the Saints' offense, on paper or in reality, match up against Carolina? Well, they got steamrolled last year in Carolina, and then right. they had more success in, in the repeat meeting. Um, you know, uh, Brian Burns is a problem uh, for Carolina. Um, you know, obviously they have talent in all three levels, but uh, they were off to a great start last year. We're not seeing that this year. Carolina has been off to a pretty slow start this year, so you'd think it's a team you could take advantage of. But um, I, I think Carolina, even though they switch coaches and they switch personnel over the years, they're a team that tries to knock the Saints off their rhythm with physicality. Uh, and I think that's what the Saints are going to, you know, have to go up against in this one too. I, I think more than anything, though, the Saints need to find their own rhythm. What I expect to see, no matter who the opponent was this week, is a lot more um, rhythm offense, a lot more three-step drop throws, a lot more second and fives, third and threes, you know, um, instead of sort of, you know, certainly instead of what we saw last week where we saw all those deep shots. Uh, he's on Twitter at Mike Triplett. New Orleans dot football uh, is where you can find his work now. Um, it, so offensively, would is is there a player? I mean, look, it, it's obvious to say, Mike, we could look and say, look, they're not scoring. You, I think you appropriately said it. Aside from the fourth quarter against Atlanta, the offense has been a problem. So what do they do? Like, how do they consistently fix that? Yeah, like I said, I think, I think I think more rhythm throws. Um, I think that's what they did to get out of it coming out of the second half against Atlanta. I liked how it looked in the, the opening drive of the Tampa Bay game, uh, the drive where Mark Ingram almost scored. I think it's just got to be a more patient approach where, you know, they're looking for five and seven yards uh, on these completions to the weapons they have who are built to game find at five and seven yards. Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry. Alvin Kamara, if he's healthy and playing in this game. Um, you know, they had more success running the ball against Tampa Bay than I expected. They should certainly have more success running the ball against Carolina, even than they did against Tampa Bay. So I think it'll be another one of those games where they're willing to patiently play the field position game, not press, try to play the game on their half of the field for as long as they can, settle for field goals when they have to, settle for punts when they have to, 
but you know, it needs to add up to to 23 or 24. Uh, and I'm kind of surprised it hasn't yet. Uh, but I, I think that's going to be a clear focus is no turnovers, patient approach, and let's let's take those small gains and let them add up so we can find a rhythm. If it doesn't, Mike, do you suspect we see Andy Dalton, or is there a point where we see Andy Dalton? No, I don't think we're near there yet, unless Jameis's health becomes an issue. I, I think we'd ha- I think we'd be weeks away from that. Um, you know, there's. The Saints aren't the only team in the NFL right now who hasn't got, who who hasn't looked like themselves yet early in the season, um, and there's a lot of reasons for that with this offense. Guys who haven't played together before, guys who didn't play together in the preseason, that I don't think we're anywhere near that. And I don't think Jameis Winston has necessarily been ineffective um, for the first seven quarters of this season. He didn't turn the ball over, uh, and and they were. As Dennis Allen said on Monday, they were playing the Tampa Bay game exactly how they wanted to play the game. They were perfectly willing to win that game six to three or ten to six or whatever it was going to take. So I don't think they're frustrated. The, the turnovers are not. James Winston is not losing games for them. He's not putting them in a bad position. The fact that he had three interceptions in the fourth quarter that thing snowballed a little bit. But as James himself said, he wasn't upset with his decision on that first one because he threw it to Chris Olave in the end zone. And it basically became like a touchback. Yeah, sure. The ones he really regrets are the ones uh, where he he did it in Tampa Bay's scoring position. And I, you know, I think we had now have two two years of evidence that James Winston's doing a pretty good job of not harming this team. And I, and I'm not worried about that with them right now. Um, on the other side, Mike. I mean, the other obvious question has been the lack of of sacks. How much of that is concern? How much of that is just the opponent the last two weeks? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a concern, and I know the Saints don't think it's a concern. Right. Um, Dennis Allen, you know, flatly, you know, I'm not worried about that at all. Um, and and I know fans don't want to hear excuses that because they heard it after week one. Oh, yeah, well, that was just Atlanta's offense. They didn't rush the, you know, they didn't blitz. They, they weren't aggressive against Atlanta because they wanted to make sure that they didn't let Marcus Mariota use his legs and, and break free and find a rushing lane. So, they had that very ineffective stand back and kind of corral defense against Atlanta that I'm sure they will have a different plan the next time they face him, uh, at least when it comes to their run defense against that team. But, you know, we said that, oh, it was the opponent in week one. And so I know people don't want to hear it again in week two, but it was the opponent again. Tom Brady threw that ball in less than two and a half seconds every time. Quick throw, quick throw, quick throw. He did not want to get sacked as much as he got sacked in, in his previous losses. But the beauty this time was Tom Brady was not effective at all. Um, he was uh, on his way to having a terrible game. He threw that tablet on the ground. Like I said, if he doesn't complete that twenty, if he doesn't complete that twenty-eight yard pass against T.J. Williams in the fourth quarter, his stat line is lousy in that game. And and uh, you know even as it was, he only threw for one hundred and ninety yards and barely completed fifty percent of his passes. Uh, Mike Triplett is with us as he is uh, every Thursday here. Talk some Saints, New Orleans dot football. Mike, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out uh, you and Nick had Sean Payton on uh, your podcast there at New Orleans dot football, and you asked him about coaching uh, again and the possibility of doing so. Um, I don't know if Muse, can you hear this because we can take the audio real quick if you can hear it uh, for the benefit of those. Um, oh yeah, go ahead, take it, take it. That's a good question. I. I would say this, I'm, I really enjoy what I'm doing right now and more maybe than I thought. Um, if the right situation presented itself, Mike, uh, I, I would, I would definitely be interested in. So there's a, there's a longer answer, but Mike, I, you know, and people can go follow uh, it's uh, Nick Underhill posted the video. If you want to check it out on his Twitter at Nick underscore Underhill. Um, look, you've, you've known and covered Sean Payton a long time. What, what was your reaction to the way he answered the question? Well, I mean, I asked it because I already had that sense from hearing him talk and, and you know, um, hearing him talk recently. I, I think he's ready to coach again already. I, I don't think this was a shrewd ploy to get away from New Orleans. I think he really needed the year off. I don't even think he, you know, maybe the Miami Dolphins could have coaxed him and, and, and you know, thrown the world at him and said, we're bringing in you and Tom Brady and stroked the ego a little bit. But I've never thought, this was a uh, Sean Payton wanted to leave the Saints. I think I had heard back last October that you know he was thinking about taking a year off. But I already sensed that his his batteries have been recharged. 
he made you know no bones about it, even in his farewell press conference in New Orleans, that he anticipated coaching again. And uh, the one thing, though, is I think he'll get to be picky. Um, the teams that need a coach are usually coaches in pretty bad situations. And if you remember, when he considered leaving the Saints uh, in whatever that was, 15, uh, um, he he looked into other situations and he thought, oh, man, these teams are a mess. <laughs> and he got turned off by those situations. So I think he's going to be picky. I think it's going to take a, as he said later in that answer, a functional o- organization, a history of proving they're functional and that they can win, good, solid ownership, uh, uh, probably a good relationship with the general manager. So he's not just going to go to – you know, the teams that have the first three picks in the draft and fire their coaches every two years. It's going to take a, a situation he feels real good about and he can afford to be picky. But I think he's ready as soon as that situation comes along. And, of course, we're all looking at the Dallas Cowboys as mm-hmm. as a team that could possibly fit that bill if they struggle this year. Um, and I do think that's a team he would go and coach for. I think they'd be on the short list. Um, but I think fans in, in New Orleans should probably root for that uh, scenario to take place because I think Dallas would have to pay more than other teams would have to pay in, in trade compensation to get it. <laughs> give, give, just give me the draft picks. Mike, this has felt like yeah. an inevitability for so long. I'm at peace with it. Just give me the draft picks. Like, all, I, I would caution, though, I, I, I have, I'm the king pessimist on this. Uh, a lot of people tend to disagree with me, but I think once he's sat out for a year, especially if the Saints aren't firing Dennis Allen after this year, I think fans should be prepared for that not to be, you know, of multiple first rounders, maybe not any first rounders, hmm. because you know all of a sudden he's he's out of coaching and the Saints aren't offering him a job, so they're just being <laughs> punitive hmm. if 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 they don't let him go to the team and work out a, a, a nice compromise arrangement. I won't allow it, Mike. I will not allow that. It's got to, <laughs> it's got to be good. Uh, all right, Mike Triplett. He's on Twitter at Mike Triplett, of course. On New Orleans dot football. Is the uh, promo code TRIP still available? You know what? You didn't prepare. We didn't prepare beforehand. I think you know. I think those got used up right away because <laughs> okay. I was so popular. That's going to be my okay. guess. But go ahead and try typing it in. <laughs> and see if it works. All right, uh, Mike Triplet. We appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. All right, be well. We're brought to you by Mold Zero. Mold-0USA.com. Mold-0ZERO-USA.com. Uh, my guy Jim does an awesome job, man. Such a great uh, ethical man. I, I love talking. He's, I, I call him the most interesting man in the world. Um, you know, born in California, was an Air Force um, uh, veteran. I think he had maybe 13 brothers and sisters. He just like to listen to Jim talk. But he's gone to disaster areas in the past. Uh, he was one of the people that helped recover 9-11. Um, after the BP oil spill, it's part of what brought him to Louisiana. But uh, when it comes to things like this, relief, recovery, you know, picking up the pieces of, of a mess, he's fin- he's phenomenal at it, sort of what led to Mold Zero. Mold-0USA.com. If you have mold in your home, office, your place of business, uh, they kill mold, remove odors. This is a patented, non-toxic, dry fog technology. So essentially, it's it's not going to harm you or your pets or anything in your home, but it'll get in every nook and cranny. It really only inconveniences you until it dries. So you got to be out for a couple hours while it dries. Learn more at mold-0usa.com, mold-0usa.com. Eliminate mold and odors, non-toxic, mold-0usa.com. Okay, it is after further review. We'll knock out a quick break, and uh, when we come back, oh, I'm a little late. My apologies. Fantasy Blitz, we moved it from hour one to hour three. Before you set your fantasy roster, our guy Darren Teakin has your fantasy answers. That's next. It's AFR. AFR. And fall is upon us, y'all. Clegg's Nursery is loaded up with tons of fall decor. Uh, just go check out their displays. They're gorgeous, man. From all of the pumpkins and the hay bales and the squash and the gourds. and It's just, a, it's just an amazing time of year. When you get all those browns and oranges and yellows and greens and the earth tones, it's just a, a great way and a great time to decorate. I know people love fall and fall season, and there's just no better place to go to decorate for fall than at Clegg's Nursery. Any of their four locations, Segan near Airline, LA-16 in Denham, Mid-City on Donmore, and the Garden Center on Greenwell Springs. Great local business that's been around for more than 60 years now. Of course, they're partnered with True Value Hardware Store, so anything you find at a True Value Hardware Store, you'll also find at Clegg's Nursery 
And for all of you deer hunters, they've got your buck busters and mo bucks and all that good stuff as well. Buy local, shop local, tell them at Sension, a Clegg's Nursery. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. Order curbside pickup online or with Rouse's Market Shopping app and let Rouse's personal shopper shop for you. Curbside pickup is free and you pay the same price for groceries as in-store. Use code SAINTS20 and save $20 on orders of $100 or more. That's curbside convenience. Shop a style. Oh, yeah. This is a house call. This is a follow-up appointment. This is a diabetes checkup. This isn't just more convenient care, it's more advanced care. This is innovating healthcare at Louisiana's number one hospital, Auctioner. Oh, hey, what's up? It's Big V and Bubba, 100.7 The Tiger Morning Show. We'd love for you to join us every weekday, 4 a.m. till 9 a.m. Yeah, everything you want in a show. Country music. We got lights. We got celebrity and studio guests. We just need you. Join us every weekday morning, 4 a.m. to 9 a.m., right where it all started. That's right. Louisiana's country station, 100.7 The Tiger. It's no secret, the best oysters in Baton Rouge are at Jolie Pearl Oyster Bar. Enjoy mouth-watering South Louisiana flavor and oysters from all over the country. And don't forget our nightly drink specials. Jolie Pearl Oyster Bar, located in downtown Baton Rouge. Gulf Coast Bank and Trust is giving our customers the power to bank anywhere, anytime during this challenging event. And we're right there with you. Our mobile banking app is a... After further review with Matt Moscona, presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. After further review, this is the Fantasy Football Blitz. Do you know who I am? Powered by whodostart.com. Who the hell are you? Whodostart.com. Hello. The, the Fantasy, Fantasy Football, Football Blitz. Blitz. Who the bitches? This is the Fantasy Football Blitz, powered by whodostart.com on 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge and 104.5 ESPN.com. All right, glad to have Darren Teakin with us. A little schedule change. Darren had to come on a little bit later in the show today. We're glad to make it work. D, how are you, man? Doing good. How are you guys? Uh, doing fantastic. I'm pumped about Thursday night football, uh, and I'm really actually excited to see this game tonight with the Steelers and the Browns. Uh, who are we keeping an eye on tonight? Um, you know, it's, it's, there's been clamor about uh, getting Kenny Pickett in there. Uh, Rich Trubisky just uh, has been un uninspiring. I don't think they're using him right. Um, I think they kind of get things together, and uh, Trubisky... Uh, I'm not saying he's you know a QB one type of uh, fantasy starter, but uh, he should have a better game this week. So look for guys like Deontay Johnson to to be uh, solid in PPR. And then on the other side of the ball, it looks like Jacoby Brissett and uh, Amari Cooper are finally staying on the same page. So uh, I of course expect a lot of running out of the Browns too. Sleepers this week? 
Yeah, we've got a couple, or a few actually. Uh, Jared Goff, uh, quarterback, is quietly having kind of a pretty good uh, fantasy season. He's definitely got one of the better pass uh, pass blocking lines in the uh, in the NFL, and has a host of weapons to throw to. So we like him at quarterback against Minnesota. In terms of a running back, uh, we like uh, Damian Pierce, who got all the the carries for the Texans last week. And Rex Burkhead didn't even have one carry, so it looks like it's Pierce's job to lose now. Going up against uh, the Chicago Bears, who allowed a ton of running room to Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon last week. Then wide receiver, we like Brandon Ayuk, now with Jimmy G at the helm. Uh, look for Ayuk to have a good game. All right, let's get to your questions. You can always email us, tweet us, jump in the bike for YouTube chat or text in the 225-396-4400, 396-4400. Let's get your fantasy football questions answered. Remember, you can go to the website, whotostart.com, use the promo code ESPN. They'll save you 10%. Here's one from Jason Gibson. He said, who to start PPR league? He said, I need to choose both flex between Cortland Sutton, Jalen Waddell, and Curtis Samuel. Yeah, at this point, I don't think you could you could bench Waddle. I mean, even with Tyree Kill there, that uh, that Miami offense humming pretty good. Tougher matchup this week, but I, I definitely like Waddle in PPR format. Uh, let's see. Brennan Thibodeau said, uh, "Who to start at flex PPR league?" He's got uh, Cortland Sutton, Drake London, and Rashad Bateman. I think you're going Sutton there. Um, just it's something. To- about this matchup with the uh, with the Broncos this week um, for the uh, for the Broncos this week that is uh, Sutton should have a, a fairly good game this week. I, I like him at flex. A uh, Peyton Lee said, "Who to start? Uh, one half point, uh, PPR. He's got uh, Brashad Perriman and Chris Olave. Who to start? I like Olave. I think this is week as he gets he gets deep." Um, um, and, um, you know, that, that Saints offense is, is kind of, I mean, Michael Thomas has, has been great, and Ovalavi has been getting open, but uh, uh, James Winston just hasn't been getting him the ball as much as he could. I like uh, Olave um, kind of as a dice roll this week, so look for him to get the end zone too. I am getting a lot of questions about, about Jameis and, and what to do with him. So, I mean, what, what are you all projecting for, for Winston this week? Um, you know, it's it's a decent matchup. I think the, uh, that it's more going to be a kind of a, a Kamara, um, Alvin Kamara type of game with Winston throwing for probably, I don't know, maybe 225 yards and a couple of TDs. So not like a huge effort, but uh, definitely serviceable since the matchup is pretty nice. Any wide receiver sleepers? Uh, there's people asking because of what's going on in Tampa. Yeah, I mean, one of your questions asked for Brashad Perryman. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that deep into the barrel if you were to scrape the bottom of the barrel. Um, if you're looking, for, I, I, I mentioned Brandon Ayuk, he's going to have a good game. Um, Allen Robinson finally found the end zone for, for the Rams. I like his matchup. Um, Devontae Smith actually had a pretty good game last week. He has a good matchup against Washington. Um, and then um, even if you want to go even further than that, Corey Davis seems to have a rapport with uh, with Joe Flacco, and they're, they're chucking the ball all over the place. They have a good matchup against the Bengals, so Corey Davis would be another name to look out for. Joe Flacco, who would have thought, huh, man? Crazy, right? <laughs> uh, Trey Simmons says, "Who to start? Got Daryl Henderson, Kareem Hunt, or Tony Pollard?" I'm going Hunt there. Uh, I like the matchup this week or, or tonight. Actually, um, obviously Chubb is, is gets the, the the bulk of the carries, but uh, Hunt gets enough of work in the passing game. So in PPR formats, he's a solid start tonight against the Steelers. Uh-huh. See if we can get maybe one or two more in. Here's one from Chris Burke, who said, who started? He's got Justin Herbert or Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, it looks like Herbert, um, the, his rib injury is not uh, affecting him too much. Um, they're, they're not saying he needs, you know, any kind of pain management or anything to, to get him throwing the ball. So, um, like his matchup this week, I think uh, probably a little bit better than, than Rodgers. I would go with Herbert. All right, uh, let's see. One more from Lorenzo, who said he's got uh, Kareem Hunt or Cortland Sutton at flex. Who to start? Yeah, if you're in the PPR format, I think I'm sticking with Hunt there. I think he's going to catch four or five balls tonight. Uh, if you're in uh, Standard League, I think Sutton has better potential for the touchdown. So it's Standard League, I'd play Sutton. He is Darren Teak in who2start.com. It's the numeral two, who2start.com. It's a fantasy blitz. We do it every Thursday, usually an hour one. I had to flip today, but we appreciate Dan for being available. Remember, you go to whodostart.com if you didn't get your question answered today. They give you personalized fantasy football advice there at the website. Use the promo code ESPN, and they'll give you 10% off. Dan, we always appreciate it, man. We'll, uh, I guess, be back regular time next week, and we'll look forward to it. 
Sounds good. Enjoy the game tonight, guys. All right, man. Be well. We appreciate you as always. Thanks to Darren Teetkin, of course, and always thanks to DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Of course, you can always play daily fantasy at DraftKings, but the DraftKings Sportsbook. Man, been telling you, of course, they always have great promotions going on over at the DraftKings Sportsbook. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use the promo code Baton Rouge right now if you're a new customer. Use the promo code Baton Rouge. Bet just $5 on any NFL team to win. So if you have a strong lean tonight, Pittsburgh or Cleveland, bet on any NFL team to win, just 5 bucks. If they do, they'll give you $200 in free bets. And look, if you're not a new customer, if you're a returning player, everyone can boost their winnings right now with stepped-up same-game parlays. Every leg you add can boost your winnings up to 100%. So bigger than ever payouts at the DraftKings Sportsbook app, but you got to use the promo code Baton Rouge. Again, so download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use the promo code Baton Rouge. One word, Baton Rouge. And new customers can get $200 in free bets if your team wins when you place a $5 bet on any football game. That's promo code Baton Rouge only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. 21 and older, physically present in Louisiana. Select parishes only. Bonus issued as free bets. One boost per eligible game. Opt-in required. Parlay and wagering restrictions apply. Eligibility in terms of DraftKings.com slash football terms. Licensee partner Gold Nugget Lake Charles. Gambling problem. Call one seven 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 zero. stop All right, it is After Further Review. Been a really good show. We appreciate you for being here, man. What a, uh, a jam-packed show. Ryan Clark in hour one. Skip Bertman was in studio with us for all of hour two. We uh, we previewed or we, we uh, promoted and talked about his book, Everything Matters in Baseball. The Skip Bertman story available wherever you get books. Skip will have a signing coming up on Tuesday 5.30 to 9 p.m. at Lipsy's in Baton Rouge. You can buy your books or get them personalized. Great uh, holiday gift idea. So um, uh, we appreciate Skip for being in studio. Mike Triplett, Fantasy Blitz. Gosh, just so much. And, of course, next is Otterlocks. The Otter, he has been riding a heater in the NFL. Not a great night last night in baseball, but Otter has been riding a heater in the NFL. Let's see what he's got tonight for Steelers, Browns. Otterlocks next on AFR. AFR. We're brought to you by the Baton Rouge General Hospital, brgeneral.org, brgeneral.org. Baton Rouge General, part of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. Of course, as I've told you, what that means for you is that your physician here in Baton Rouge has uh, the opportunity for clinical collaboration with the experts at the Mayo Clinic, access to all of their award-winning research and world-renowned facility at no extra cost to you. That's what it means to be part of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. It's the Baton Rouge General Hospital. Of course, the uh, Regional Burn Center is there at the Mid-City location where they reopened the ER amid COVID and have remained open. The Blue Bonnet Campus where you'll find the Pennington Cancer Center. The Ascension Neighborhood Hospital, which has emergency care in Ascension Parish for the first time. And of course, all the express care locations as well. Whatever that your medical need is, the Baton Rouge General is here all over the greater Baton Rouge area to serve you. Learn more online at brgeneral.org. Gulf Coast Bank and Trust is giving our customers the power to bank anywhere, anytime during this challenging event. And we're right there with you. Our mobile banking app is a smart way to manage your money and time. Gulf Coast Bank and Trust, the bank that cares about you. There it is, the extra mile on the border of expected and extraordinary for those willing to go further like vans customized for work or play, with safety and tech to keep you connected. Supported by a five-star sales, service, and finance team, and backed by the one star you know. So go the extra mile. It's never crowded, because so few have what it takes to go there. Mercedes-Benz Vans. ITI's got all these programs. Once I started and learned everything about the school, it was worth it. The challenges that ITI presented me with, it allowed me to build myself up. All because of ITI, I actually was able to get a job within three months before graduation in my field. Get the hands-on training you need for the job you've always wanted. With so many companies hiring right now, it's the perfect time to come to ITI Technical College. Enroll today for a better life. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly 
is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. Eli's always been into grilling. It took us a while to see it, but the signs were there. What are you doing, Eli? I knew grilling was my thing. I have been talking about it throughout my career. Happy with the results? I am. Got the new grill from barbecueguys.com. It performed great. My advice, as I always told my boys, do more of what you're born to do. Barbecue Guys, for those who were born to grill. You want cheese on your burger, Pops? I'll take a little cheese. Crime has serious consequences, but anyone can make a mistake. If you find yourself in trouble with the law, know that you have rights, and it's okay to demand them. The law offices of O.C. Brown are here to protect you and your rights. Felony or misdemeanor, DUI or drug charge, no matter what crime you're accused of, you still have rights. Let the law offices of O.C. Brown uphold them. Call 225-343-1111, your law firm for a lifetime. Light beer shouldn't taste like water. Miller Lite has more taste. After further review with Matt Muscona, presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana, Baton Rouge, Lafayette, and online at theantiagingclinics.com. ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. Down the stretch we come. Final segment here on a Thursday edition of AFR presented by the Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana. A blue bonnet in Baton Rouge, Ambassador Caffrey and Lafayette and online at theantiagingclinics.com. Look and feel like your younger self. The Aesthetic Medicine and Anti-Aging Clinics of Louisiana makes it happen. All right, one thing left to do. Let's find out what we're betting on tonight. Time for Otter Locks. Otter Locks, presented by Lofton Staffing Services. At Lofton, we put people to work. Call us today at 924-0200 or go to lofton.jobs. So we turn to the one and only, the incomparable and all that incomprehensible, the Ott father himself, Jimmy Ott. Otter, how are you? Doing good, man. I got this football here. Get this baseball out of the way. <laughs> we had, we ball. had so we had, we had an zero and three night in baseball last yeah. night. Yeah. Not great. So uh, okay, you're like really bad actually. But uh, let's get back on track. Hey, but you know what, Honor? I went I went with your first five play, and the Yankees hit a granny in the first, and I was like, you know what? I'm okay with it. I'm good. I'm good losing that one <laughs> the way I lost that one. Uh, all right, so what do we got tonight? Steelers, Browns. What are we thinking? Hey, you got to gotta love when uh, the, the reliever late in the game, four-pitch walk. <laughs> <laughs> Those people are going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, Otter, candidly, I, at 14-2, to two, I was out. Like, I, I'm good. I'm, it, I'm good. It is. Uh, uh, <laughs> So uh, the, the pro game is my least favorite. Um, Randy McKay, a professional sports gambler, he's been really good. Uh, five and one uh, on our podcast and the show. Um, and he likes Pittsburgh. And he does have Pittsburgh. We'll hear his explanation. Uh, we got an audio clip later in the show in why. Uh, but, you know, that's a hard guy to go against. But I like Cleveland. Um, I think the running – well, the running game is much better. Uh, that's because Cleveland's offensive line is way better than Pittsburgh. Even without T.J. Watt, they sacked Joe Burrow in week one seven times. They got no sacks last week against Mac Jones. Um, and just, you know, playing at home, I think it's a short number. You probably two points different if Nick Chubb falls down and it's inside the two-yard line and, uh, and they win by seven. But – I just think Cleveland's a better team. Trubisky's not a guy that's uh, going to carry on his shoulder. I like Cleveland a little bit, but Randy's opinion on the other side tempers that uh, enthusiasm a lot. I like the college games better. Okay. Uh, first one, um, I like pretty good. And, hey, it's college football, man. It matters who you play. So 3-0 and versus 0-3. and It's only a three-point spread. Georgia State's at home. They have been more than competitive against South Carolina and North Carolina. Um Coastal is a Grayson McCall. He's very good. He's all by himself. They're really weak on defense. It's up to three now. Mm-hmm. Kicks off at 30 in Atlanta. I like Georgia State. And then my favorite play of the night, going to West Virginia and Virginia Tech. Matt, Matt you think Tennessee's pretty good? Uh, yeah, I think they're re- really good start to the season, for sure. And ev- and everybody thinks West Virginia, oh, they're trash. It's not. Um, I saw every play of both of those games at the same venue. Uh, West Virginia at Pitt. 
and Tennessee at Pitt. Um, the game was two two plays. Tie game. The West Virginia receiver drops the ball. Tip, pick, six. Uh, West, uh, uh, Pitt against Tennessee is up 10 nothing. A wide receiver drops a touchdown for Pitt. Tipped interception touchback 75 yards later. It's 10 7 instead of 17 nothing. Keaton Slovis also One minute remaining. Cap in the second half as well. I think because West Virginia is 1 and 2. You're getting a really soft line here. So, no doubt who's got the better passing game uh, with JT Daniels against uh, against Virginia Tech. So, I'm liking West Virginia minus a small number uh, at in Blacksburg tonight. All right, West Virginia, I'm looking at laying two. So, uh, the Otter, yeah. no strong feeling on the NFL game, but a play on Cleveland. Uh, Georgia State plus three in his uh, best bet of the night. West Virginia laying the two in Blacksburg. That's right. your, and he's got the raccoon hat over here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Davy Crockett, that's what I'm talking about. All right, Otter over at Jolie Pearl in downtown Baton Rouge. Yo, go check him out. Game time with Jimmy Out follows us. Thank you, Otter. Thank you, Matt. All right, man, have a great show. We appreciate it. Muse, what'd you learn? Skip Bertman, 1,500 diamonds. That's all. You stole mine. That's not even fair. Paulie, what did you learn? Even Skip Bertman doesn't think LSU can solve traffic issues. Matt? AFR. And it wasn't 1,500 diamonds. It was 14,999 cubic zirconia. One diamond. And that's how we got people out to the park. So, pay attention there, young muse. Uh. All right. We're brought to you by Michelle Weighing and Measurement. Michelle.com. Michelle.com. Look, a great tie-in. Michelle, President and CEO, Joel McMullen. Uh, his son, Sean McMullen, former baseball tiger, dovetails right in there with the Skip Bertman story. How about that? little little uh, factoid. Of course, you never know. I mean, it could be Sean McMullen calling on you. Works at uh, at Michelli. Could be one of the ones calling on you in your, your business. Michelli.com if you want to learn more about all the services that they offer at Michelli Weighing and Measurement. Go to the website. You'll see the services tab right there on the homepage, and you'll see everything they that they offer. Uh, they are an ISO 17025 accredited laboratory, and they are hiring. So hit the careers tab at the top, and you can learn how you can go to work for Michelle. Michelle.com, Michelle.com. I've been doing business with Luba for 25 years. They're dependable, trustworthy. It's just the attention to detail with our clients. Uh, our folks have years and years of experience. They're highly trained professionals, but many companies have that asset. What I'd like to think makes Luba a bit different is that we use those talents in a way that truly is dedicated to serving the needs of the folks who depend on us. Bayou Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has $12,000 off MSRP on all new 2022 Ram Black Widow trucks in stock. All new Bayou vehicles come with a 1 million mile powertrain warranty and free delivery. If you need sales or service, the crew at Bayou is going to do right by you. I'm Jay Dakota. I grew up learning how to cook at LSU tailgate parties and right in my own backyard. And I created JD's Louisiana products to bring that Louisiana flavor to you at home for your backyard cookout. JD's Louisiana barbecue sauce, Louisiana molasses mustard, spicy and sweet barbecue rub, and more are available at your local supermarkets or by logging on to jdecody.com slash shop. Put in promo code CST for 25% off at checkout. This isn't just another day, it's so much more. Kelly's life was put on hold when her auctioner primary care doctor discovered a rare blood disorder. Her doctor connected her to an auctioner care team of cancer, heart, and kidney specialists. With multiple primary care locations around Baton Rouge, same day appointments, and online scheduling, we're relentless about keeping you healthy. Auctioner Baton Rouge, innovating healthcare.